can't even say it in my normal voice. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How's life treating you all? How's business? You can probably hear it in my voice. My voice is very strained at the moment. But the show must go on. Hey, so anyway, AJ, Sander, Hu Tao, Foxy, and Arrow. What's up, guys? How's life treating y'all? Am my voice coming through okay still? I know I'm a, I'm probably a little quiet. I've been I've been coughing up a lung since Saturday, I want to say. Like I've been a little unwell for like the last week and a half or so, but like this this weekend I I basically keeled over. I was, I was so bad today. Me and my dad were supposed to do his uh, appointment at the hospital and he basically took a look at me and said, "You're not going to the hospital, my boy. Get your ass back in bed." Still reeling from coming back to work. That'll do it. You were off for what? Two weeks? It was two weeks, right? So yeah, two weeks off, and then you're finally back on. It's a bit of a culture shock, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's get to let's get to work though. There's a couple things I want to get done. Uh, namely, daily rigmarole. I want to do Genshindle. Um, I want to show you guys something that I just thought was really funny. But I need to figure out what I'm spending my resin on. Main account is a little tricky right now. I think it's just artifact stuff, right? Last job was 56 days. So it was even worse. Oh, that's brutal. That's too many days. I'm back. I was watching cooking videos. Oh, that's fun. I do enjoy me some cooking videos. I'm very partial to one. Um, her name's uh, Onigiri. I like her cooking videos. I think they're very fun. But what am I doing? I need to figure out what we're doing. Who needs artifacts? Who needs the most artifacts right now? We need we need some artifacts. You know, maybe we go with uh, emblem. Cause I mean, nah, I think our emblem's fine. Nah, you know what? Let's try to perfect our. Uh... Navia needs perfection. She demands perfection, and she has not received it yet. Uh, I would be fast on my, uh, uh, sorry, on my mute button, so you guys don't have to listen to me, uh, hack and wheeze. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Sander. How are you doing, by the way, Sander? Oh, man. So, I'm just gonna throw this out there. Uh, being sick sucks. I don't recommend it. Zero out of ten. Bat. Uh, what are we doing? Where are we doing? Where's my knob? going with Navia. We had a rule that a job, you need to recertification after 180 days, not at work. And some people hit that after taking a vacation once in two to three years. Oh god. That sounds like a mess. There's a bot. Yeah, we have the the, the Mora bot. Yeah, the Mora bot. There we go. Sorry about that. This is order. Also, I apologize about missing stream yesterday. I was already going to have to have a short stream, potentially, so I was going to start early. That was the plan. I was going to start stream early. I wake up early in the morning, I'm up at like 6 a.m. Or 7 a.m. I'm ready to start at 8 o'clock. I was going to go to noon. It was going to be great. And my internet's dead. Just straight up. My internet literally died that morning for like, probably like three or four hours. And I'm just like, really? Of all days. The days I need you right now. Like, you SOB. I was scamazed. Uh, that's a lousy Geo Cup. That's a lousy Healing Flower. Also, since we're near the end of a patch, we also get the added benefit of um, Leyline Overflow. So we have to make sure to do that on both accounts. No Leyline Overflow is too good to waste, right? Order Especially on free-to-play. Free-to-play, a Leyline Overflow is an absolute godsend. We need them Leylines. We need them Overflows. But not stack Overflows. So just... Honestly, it's funny. I might sound like shit, but I actually feel pretty good streaming today. Like, I'm just glad to be streaming today, if that makes sense. Like, I really missed you guys yesterday. <coughs> Damn it. I really missed you guys yesterday. I was like, man, I really wanted to stream yesterday, but I would bitch. 
on top. The internet was dead, and then by the time I got home, I was also dead. Terrible. Terrible. Just terrible. Hate to see it. Yeah, I think I know exactly where our resin's going today. Illusion shut. Too bad there's no events that we can take out. Take a look at the release. Hey, Viv. Welcome to the stream. How's life treating you? Get well soon. Thank you. I will try my best to get this. Actually, no, I had no idea. I don't know why. I was thinking of doing something to make this a little easier on myself. I I How bad do I sound? Because in my own head, I sound horrendous. Hold on, I'm a little cold. I'm a bit chilly. I got a blankie. Don't talk shit about my blankie, okay, chat? I got a blankie to help keep me warm. You sound absolutely terrible. Damn. Hopefully I don't look that bad. I'm not doing good. I got my annual eye infection. Why is it annual? That sounds awful. Sounds like me and ear infections, though. I tend to get one a year. Not like a ear infection, but I usually have an ear problem like once a year. Also, I had an interview yesterday. I thought it went terrible, but I got an invite to a second on-site interview. So happy. Hey, congratulations on that. I didn't even know you had an interview today, but you know what? I believed in you the whole time anyway. I wish you the best of luck. I hope it keeps going well. And also, uh, Sander, I hope your eye infection clears up sooner rather than later. I hope it's okay. Hopefully you heal faster than I do, because, man, I've been, like, under the weather for, like, I guess, like, probably about a week and a half now. It's just, like, this weekend I, like, I crumbled. I look silly at this point. I don't know why I'm calling it a blankie. I don't call it a blankie any other time. Just on stream, apparently. I think I'm delusional. Oh. That's not terrible. Ooh, that's actually quite good, too. Yeah, I'm definitely delusional. I've been surviving off of, like, a, a cocktail of, like, cock sy cough syrup. I almost, I almost said that very badly. Cough syrup and Tylenol. Oh, God. I almost said that very unfortunately. That would have been Illusion shut. Too much stress. The weird weather knocking you out. Uh, yes. I think it's really just a combination of everything. That was a very near miss, yes. I started slurring that just a little bit, and I was like, I need to stop talking right now. I'm going to say something really unfortunate and get myself in trouble. But uh, the, the, the biggest, like, I was already, like, kind of unwell because of stress and weather. Because I usually get, like, kind of sick and stuff during like, weather changes. It's normal for me, so it's not, but it's not normally this bad. It's normally, like, a migraine, and then, like, I'm out for, like, a day, and I'm usually fine. But my mom caught, like, a cold. Um like, probably, like, earlier last week, and I got my mom's cold, which has just kind of, like, evolved into this, like, weird flu thing. Uh, that's pretty... Eh, yeah, it could be okay. Like, I, like I, I missed Genshin yesterday. I barely played... Like, I logged... I realized at, like, 7 o'clock at night, I woke up in, like, a, a cold sweat, and I was like, I need to do my Genshin shit. And I, like, half-assed it. But I got through it. Hey, Blue Tiger, welcome to the stream. So, I'm thinking, though, also, once we're done, um, uh, resin, uh, let's do Genshindle. I've been having fun with that, I've been enjoying that quite a bit. We'll do Genshindle. Once we're done on the main account, we'll head over to Free to Play, but there's also something in between Free to Play and this I want to show you guys. There's something I've, I was playing a game, like, I started a new video game on the weekend because, um, reasons. And there was a there was a thing I thought was horrendously funny. Oh no, not the whole family cold. Second person is often hit much worse. Apparently, yes. Ironically though, it's not even ironic. This happens every time. Anytime there's a sickness in our household, it always dodges my dad. He just doesn't get it. And on one hand I'm like, it's good for him, it's like not a bad thing. Like, I'd rather him be, like, well than not well. Also, why am I doing more? I should be doing EXP. But at the same time, I'm like, you 
bastard. You dodge it every time. Also, my area light... My area light gone. Here is so hot. I don't... Yeah, we're finally getting into the warmer weather now. It's like, it's actually, it's only 12 degrees right now, but like, I'm assuming, like yesterday it was like 17, which is nice. But that's Celsius, of course. Illusion shut. For all you uh, crazy American kids out there. What are you wearing, Santa? I am wearing a blanket. And I did, this is a blanket. I'm cold. I feel I'm sick today, so I'm actually like just really, really cold. I don't flu, of course. Lucky. I thought it was just a cold, but like all the symptoms I had, like now this this has become a flu. Lucky. I'm pretty sure. That and I'm just like sore. <laughs> you probably know that feeling. You get the flu, and then your body, all your muscles, just start aching because it's just all like screw you. Basically, every spring my eyes start crying out. Not bad translation. Crying out rot. Oh, rot. That does sound like a bad translation. I'm assuming it's just like... Well, they call it sleep here, but... I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. But basically, at morning, my eyes are closed. This is the rot that I cry out. Also, 35 degrees. That's too hot. That's too warm. I'm thinking, what the hell is that? I know what you're talking about. It's like that, like... It's like gum, basically. You, you, so if, you get, if you get it really bad, you can open your eyes. <coughs> Damn, I had to choose between hitting the mute button and covering my mouth. I didn't make it. Hey, DBZ fan, welcome to the stream. How's life treating you today? How's business? Give me rewards. Now you shall perish. Thirty-five degrees. <laughs> My perfect weather, honestly, is like fifteen to twenty. Anywhere between fifteen and twenty, because that like lets me go out in like a nice, like a long sleeve shirt and pants, and it's like so comfy. That's like maximum comfort. Spix, would you mind turning down the in-game sound a bit, so we can hear you better? Oh, that would make sense, actually. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm going to be quiet right now. I should probably adjust that. Uh, it's going to be really quiet now, but it should be fine. There is no escape. Okay, there's no escape. Was that better? I'm assuming that's going to be better, but I can make... Sorry. Also, doing good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like a train wreck. I feel like a sack of potatoes. You can probably hear it in my voice. I've been coughing up a lung since, like, Saturday. Uh, let's go with the Knoll team, I think. Um, yeah, we'll do Knoll. Knoll is good. Knoll is love. Knoll is life. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I picked the Traveler one. Oh, oops. I mean, no harm, no foul. It should be fine. But at the same time, oops. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I apologize for my voice today. You could probably expect that to be the case for, um... You know. Probably a day or two. I'm very much hoping to be back on my feet before then. I said it once, I'll say it again. Being sick sucks. Like, hard 0 out of 10 would not be sick again. I'm doing. I wonder if you could theoretically skip the second phase entirely. I, mean, I love being sick as a kid. Just, it's just. Uh... Yeah, sick days from school was nice. 
You know, like, I'm sick, I don't get to go to school today. Though there were definitely times when I was, like, in my youth. And you knew I was really bad off when it was just, like... I didn't care about... Or you just like, I didn't even care that I was missing school, I just wanted to sleep, and they're like, oh, he's really sick. They're like, oh, he's in rough shape right now. Super fast. Good to training where I am. The storm is past now. Wow. I enjoy the rain sometimes. Not being out in the rain, but like. Just like the atmo of it, you know? Kind of random, I know, but I, I actually enjoy it sometimes. Get shattered, scrub. Yeah. Oh, we can do two bosses, actually. Can account for that. Uh, that's terrible, and we got. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, hopefully it wasn't a too. Yeah, I, I agree with DBZ fan. Hopefully it wasn't too bad of a storm. All right, I'm gonna take a short detour here. I know we just started stream, but I wanted. To, I, I missed. I missed doing it yesterday. So let's uh, let's do some Genshindle. I don't know why I've been having a lot of fun doing this though. I like me. I like dumb puzzle games. Oh man, I missed out on it being Shinyan. Oh, I would have been hype. Okay. Uh, Elbedo. Oh, it's a Geo character. A newer Geo character. I like this. Who does not use a sword. Who is not from Mondstadt. Uh, let's see. It's probably either... It could be Goro. Newer than Goro. Who's a Geo? Oh, Navia? It's gotta be Navia, right? Right, if I open my eye up and look in the mirror, I can see that gummy thing, and if you clean it up 10 minutes, and ugh, that sounds gross. Right now, it comes out of the corner of my eye. That sounds really unfortunate. Oh, it's not Navia. Older than Navia, significantly older. I don't have to stay up. Yeah, it woke me up at 5.23 a.m. Oh, jeez. I, I can relate with that in an unfortunate way. Because, like, I was... I was woke, I didn't sleep very much last night. Edo? I don't think it can be Edo. Ido and Goro came out in the same patch, and also are both from Inazuma. This character is not is neither. Who am I missing? Um, came out after that because there was a really big like. G oh, it's Yunjin. There we go. I'm like there had to have been. There's only one other Geo character, right? It was just a matter of finding them. Easy peasy. Alright, let's do daily quote. Oh, the sun's out. Oh, um, the meteorological uh, transformation is most splendid. Like, uh, felic felicitous twist of fate of certain doom. There's only two characters this could be. There's literally only two characters this could be, and I'm gonna guess the obvious one first. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, yeah, there's only, the only other one that could have been was Mona, but like, as soon as I saw the word Doom, I'm like, yeah, it's official. That's an easy one. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna guess it's Ningguang, because it looks like rocks. Ow. Oh, it's a star. Oh. Layla does stars. Could be Mona. Actually, is it Mona? I'm going to do Layla first, because I don't think Layla... 
Who is a star icon? It's not Mona, is it? Could it be Mona? Hold up. Who else has like star themes? Could be it. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut. Let's just check Mona. This is going to be one of those ones that's going to make me upset because it's going to be a character I use all the time and I just never noticed. Right, what's the hint? Shining Miracle. Shining Miracle. That's Barbara, isn't it? Yeah, it's Barbara. It's Barbara. As soon as I just clicked in, it's just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it Barb? Yeah, it's Barb. Alright, let's do the Star Rail ones. I'm not good at these. We'll work together on these ones. Uh, let's start with Bronya. Okay, so it is nothing to do with that. So let's jump up to Blade. Okay, it is. I don't know why I thought Blade. It, it couldn't be Blade. Uh, Arlen. Again, I picked, uh, I'm bad with the paths. Uh, okay, so it's Herda Space Station. It's not Electro. Is it Herda? Is it Herda herself? It is Herda herself. Yeah. Who else could it be from Herda Space Station but Herda herself? I wonder if the Dragon Lady has any brave pills for sale. If not... Dead pill play dead pills might do the trick. Oh. Uh is it Quo Quo? I don't even know how to pronounce her name. I don't even know this character. I've never seen her before. I just know that she exists. I don't know how I knew this. Daily ability. Prepare to f prepare to watch me flounder. Uh that looks very electric y. I don't know. Mm, genuine. Hey, Leakin, welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? Yeah, almost 700 subs now, though. It's crazy. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it looks kind of swirly, like it's spinny, like a ninja star. What could that be? It's going to be a character I don't know anything about. Oh. Oh, what the? What is that? Hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to turn my head upside down here. It's like a dancing pixie. Um. Oh, I actually think I know what. I think I actually know who this is. Hold up. I just took a selfie with a gun to my rail. It's epic. Dude, that's awesome, man. Um, where's the girl who disappears with the sea of butterflies? Yeah. Yeah, it's the girl. Yeah, the girl who disappears in the sea of butterflies. I knew it. I'm actually, I'm pretty good at this. All right. Okay, I'm going to take a very brief detour. I want to show you guys something. I'm going to pop open Steam. So, while I've been, like, indisposed and, like, ill on the weekend, I didn't get anything done. I was stuck in bed. Hey, Gengar, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm, I am super sick right now. We're, we're still playing Genshin. I'm just, I'm just logging, I'm just loading this up for a second. I need, to, I need to share this with someone. So, this game's called Chained Echoes. Very cool game. Very, um, if you like Final Fa if you like old-school turn-based RPGs, like, this game is a jam. Also, I'll drop in later. You get well soon, buddy. Thank you, Leakin. Appreciate it. But the game itself isn't what I want to share. I've been playing this uh, basically throughout the weekend while I've been, like, indisposed. I just... I saved a second file just so I could share this with people. So... This is like a whole mega mini game section, because... If the volume's too low, just bear with... I'm going to turn the volume back up, actually. Hold on. You need to hear this. 
Because this had me laughing so much yesterday. Or not yesterday, day before yesterday. The whole mini game is that you check all the turtles, and one of them will be very enthusiastic, and then that's how you know which turtle is the one you want to vote for. You talk to this guy, he's all like, hey, what turtle do you want to vote for? And you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll vote. Uh, second line, because I know he's the right one. And just chat. Behold the mastery that is this turtle race. <laughs> it hurts to laugh. It literally hurts to laugh, but what do you guys think? What do you think of the turtle race? Is that not the greatest thing of all time? Is that not like... Like a masterpiece beyond recognition? That was epic. It was certainly the first time I saw I see that. Yeah. It's just so funny. It's so intense. I wish. I wish that there was different music, but like, yeah, all of them are like... <clears throat> but yeah, this is the only place in the game where like that happens. It's the only place, but... I just, I had to share that. It's too funny. But yeah, this game's really good, though. I've been playing this, like, like I said, on the weekend. This is, like, the perfect game that doesn't require a lot of, like, dexterity in my weekend state, and I could just play from my bed. So, anyway. Let's get back to the goods. We did our Genshindle. And we have, I think, 30 more resin to spend? What do we want to spend it on? Uh, I guess we just stick with the, the usual newest bosses. Someone on the design team had fun thinking that up. Oh, yeah. Whoever, whoever that was, they deserve a raise. Even though it's an indie game, they deserve a raise. They need a... They clearly are a, a master of their craft. The turtles are moving faster than our perceptions. I know, right? You can't even keep up with them. They're so fast. It's just... It's a masterpiece. That look, I'm just saying right now, that was the moment I realized that this game was going to be like one of my... This is, this is a good game. Like, I knew it was going to be solid. Like, I had good high hopes for it. But man, when I saw that, I'm like, oh. It's going to be a masterpiece, I see. It went from being like, this is good game, to this is masterpiece. You know what I mean? It was just a fact at that point. Oh, yeah, so... We'll wrap up this stuff on the main account, but there's something else I want to do. And you might be able to guess what it is. Just by the name of the stream. But I'm gonna... I screwed that up. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Thankfully, Yoimi is good, so it's okay. No fear. I, I think I say it like almost every time I do this boss, but like, man... The boss music for Apep is a goddamn banger. Drink tea and gossip? Uh... Yeah, kinda. I mean, if I'm being real, I mean, I'm down for that. Make myself some nice herbal tea. And then just, like, shoot the shit. And talk about all the... the, the happenings and goings-ons in the universe. I got something in mind, though. 
I want to get started on something. Alright, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't really put that in an awkward spot, didn't he? Your damage does not fear make me fear. I do not fear your damage, that's what I'm trying to say. Ow. Okay, I fear it a little bit. I finally have a character that needs a pet. So I should run him a little more. Yeah, I try to keep up whenever a new boss comes out, even if I don't have any characters right away. I usually try to like get in there and like run them a number of times just so I have the stuff, right? Ooh, we got a we got a billet. Ooh, crit rate energy recharge. That's a dream piece. Uh, that's not a dream piece. This does not spark joy. Hot lemon tea for the throat. I don't think I have lemon tea right now. I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, all I really have is just caffeine to keep me awake. Though, I've been told that caffeine can help with migraines and headaches. That's like the whole purpose of, like, Excedrin. Sadness indeed. Alright, so resin is done. And we have a great way to hopefully get our dailies done. I hope this counts. I assume it does. As the uh, name of the stream might imply, I want to do a hangout today. Let's do Lynette's... Let's start Lynette's hangout. It's finally time. We're going to do Lynette's hangout. Like I said in the title of the stream, we're going to hang out. Ha 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 ha. Oh. I was pretend laughing and it still hurt. Because laughing actually hurts right now. Chat, don't make... Whatever you do, don't make me laugh. It hurts. Which by that means, go ahead and make me laugh. It's funny. Yep, yep, it works for me at least. Can recommend Darkest Chocolate as well. Really? If I, think, I like dark chocolate, but for whatever reason, it always sits really bad with my stomach. And I don't know why. My brother just came back from high school. It was raining and hailing. I'm lucky. It's my day off college today. Oh. Good shit, man. Who wants to be outside in that kind of awful weather? <clears throat> oh, look. Lynette's talking to one of her homies. I wish I had a, I wish I had a team that was um, Lynette-themed. But at least, you know, let's just, we'll just go with the Traveler. We'll be lore-ish lore accurate. Is that Lynette? With a little kitty? Oh my god, little kitty has a little bow tie! I love that cat, he's my favorite. I get heartburn from chocolate age, aging sucks. Oh, that blows. I can sort of relate. Not with chocolate per se, but like other stuff that has done that to me, where it's just like, I used to like, love it. But now I'm like, I can't even eat this anymore. It just murders my stomach. Also, why is Lynette with a little kitty with a little bow tie? Meow. Yeah. Oh my god, she speaks cat. Do I approach stealthily? I approach stealthily. Uh-oh. Oh, it's you. One second. Now activating chat. Good old chat mode. You made me jump there. I thought they'd finally caught me. So I'm just kidnap you. Speaking. The trouble was entirely of my own making. Uh oh. Also, when Dad was recovering from a surgery in the hospital, they had a guy in the room that constantly told jokes and made them laugh. It wasn't too good for people fresh out of surgery. Oh my goodness. They're probably all the, the nurses and doctors. Probably stop telling jokes. Stop making them laugh. You're gonna mess with their stitches. And he's all like, "Screw you!" And then he proceeds to tell a joke. What a what a mad lad! What an absolute legend! Half an hour ago, I was at Hotel de Boer for a drinks reception. It was to celebrate the successful opening of a show, but it was draining my energy. So I waited for the right moment, then snuck away so I could switch to standby mode. Oh my god, that's a mood. That's a mood right there, ain't it? That's me. Oh my goodness. She's literally me for real for real. I'm not even kidding, actually. She's literally me. It's just like, oh good, we went to a, celebra a celebration party 
to like talk about our you know about our successes and i'm just all like i want to go home <laughs> i don't want to be here i'm good can i just go home please i see so they sent someone to find you and bring you back but why probably because i'm playing the lead role in the show oh that's kind of important is that so surprising i'm always getting invitations to do solo performances i just usually get Linny to write back and turn them down but then it came the Fontanalia Film Festival. Oh. They took all the kids from the House of the Hearth out to see a film. And after it finished, they all started clamoring for me to try out acting for some reason. Even Linny was chanting along with them. Uh oh. Also, her, they put a lot of. Okay, I just noticed they've put a lot of um, animation work into like her little nuances. And I think that's a thing with all the hangout events. They give like extra animation work onto all the characters so they sync up better. But look at her ears. Like, the way her ears kind of pin back and, like, maneuver around while she's talking. It's kind of wild. Which is funny to me, because, like, they have a dating sim game, don't they? Doesn't the Hoyolab have, like, a dating sim? Isn't that one of their main games? Also, Kakara, hey, man. Welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm alive. I'm okay. I'm sick. I feel like crap, but I'm okay. I'll live. <clears throat> It just so happened that a director called Mary who had sent me an invitation right around then. I'll spare you the details, but basically, I ended up accepting it. So this is the dramatic debut of the magician's puppet, yep. huh? You nailed it. I'm playing the role of a puppet. Oh. In fact, I'm sorry, the show just a little pose. The Lost Puppet, and it's a masked mime show. So I don't have to do any facial expressions or say any lines. Literally just a series of physical movements. The director says it's a very avant-garde art form. What happened? Are you doing? I've uh, caught the f I've caught some kind of flu bug, and now I'm just like, I'm I'm staying cozy under my blanket to stay warm. Yeah, Tears of Themis. I think yeah, that that sounds right. It, it's a dating sim, isn't it? Where you collect anime boys? Isn't that like the game? I know literally nothing about it, just what I see on Hoyo Lab, so it's very, very limited. That's a thing, right? Am I talking out of my ass? I probably am. Detective Anime Boys, I think. Yeah, okay. That does sound pretty avant-garde, but can people understand the plot? As, as a film graduate myself, as someone who spent four years in the, in the film industry doing, like, uh, like, for college, doing film, avant-garde stuff is weird. Hey, Lion Life, welcome to the stream. How's life treating you today? Also, is the in-game volume too low now? Is it okay? Like, can you hear her talk still? Or am I going to have to continue doing adjustments? Don't need to push yourself when you feel sick. Health comes first, man. Remember, health comes first. I know! That's why I have my blankie! Didn't you, didn't you hear that part? I got my blankie. I'm indestructible when I have my blanket. That's how it works, right? That's how blankets work. They keep you warm. You're invincible. Monsters under your bed can't get you. Like that's like, that's how they work, man. It's all part of the. Uh, it's all part of the business, man. It's all good. <laughs> no, all joking aside, now I'll be okay. I'm in rough shape. Don't get me wrong. I'm tired. I'm hurting. But I feel better streaming though. So you know what? I'd rather be streaming than just being in bed sulking. You know what I mean? You picking up what I'm putting down, dog? But yeah, seriously, volume is it good? is not comprehended by the mind but felt in the heart at least that's what the director says anyway if nothing else the opening performance seemed to go down well cool at the drinks reception everyone was crowding around me saying triumphant character portrayal faithful adaptation of the original work unequivocally quintessentially avant-garde and stuff like that volume's okay good stuff I'm doing my after lecture work now. Oh, like homework, notes, that sort of stuff. But being the center of attention is draining. So the moment they left me to go harass the director instead, I was out of there. Smart. For once, you weren't able to use Linny as a human shield. The True. other thing is, some weird things happened while I was on the stage. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well. Hopefully it goes by uh, relatively quickly, Lion Life. I am not a fan of homework myself. Homework was the worst part of school. School part was easy. 
Once I got home, though, and it was like, keep doing work, I'm like, no, I don't want to. I was terrible at homework when I was in school. Until it was uh, college. College was easy homework because it was like, you have eight weeks to do this. And I'd do like eight weeks of work in like a day at the beginning. And then I'd have no homework for the rest of the like, next two months. It was great. Now we don't have homework. I'm assuming, I guess it just functions a little differently for the kind of thing you're doing. I can get that. I can get behind that. Also, we got this cat homie with a little bow tie. Look at his little bow tie. I love him. I don't, I'm going to call him Jimothy. I bet he has his own name, but until we know his name, I shall call him Jimothy. Sorry, I was away doing homework. A nice bottle of Torley O Point alcohol. Zero point alcohol. Sparkling wine. That sounds nice. I do like me uh, champagne every now and again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. My bad. <clears throat> well, okay, so that was short-lived. They are no longer Jimothy. They're now Bonnie. Okay. I guess Bonnie is your homie? No, we just met. We bumped into each other right after I slipped away. You already named her? Well, it'd be kind of difficult for us to communicate otherwise. Besides, I think she's taken a liking to the name. Haven't you, Bonnie? I want some lore on something. Are you actually related to Linny? Like, I mean, obviously you are, but like... Are you? Why do you have cat ears and he don't? Just put off. I just put everything off until the last day in uni. College here is different thing. Yeah, I know in some parts of the world, university and college are different. Like college is more of like a mandatory thing to go into university. We're here, college. You either go to college or you go to university. Usually not both. They're in like the same category of school. Yeah, that's right. Good kitty. We'll go find your owner soon. I promise. Oh, they're not a stray. Why would I? Why would you think? Okay, traveler, you idiot. Why would you think he's a stray cat? He has a little bow tie. You ever seen a stray cat with a bow tie? Idiot. Nope. She's wearing a collar, and for the most part, she's pretty well groomed. If she is a stray, she hasn't been for long. Exactly. Come on, man. Get with the program. Why does Dia have cat ears? Well, she doesn't actually. It's just her hair. College is kind of a light version of high education. You can go to university later. Yeah. Yeah, for here, it's college and university are separated for different kinds of, like, degrees. So, like, you go to university for certain things. Like, you tend to... Like, it's, it's a higher level of college still, but it's still, like, the same level of education, if that makes sense. And I know that some people will say, too, that, like, a big difference is that college is more hands-on, where university tends to be more theoretical. But it depends on the program, honestly. College is a little more practical than uni, so I have a practical, so, internship in college. And degree. Yeah, okay, it's similar for Lion Life, it seems. Uh, but, also, my camera shifted. I don't know, I think I must have nudged it by accident. There we go, much better. Oh, I nudged it with my blanket, I think. Her stomach's been growling a lot. I guess she must have been missing for a few days now. As much as I'd love to hang out with her for a while longer, her owner's probably worried sick about her. Assuming she has an owner, that is. But, yeah, for me in college, it was all about, I did my homework early. I'm like, if I got work, I did it the first day, and then I'd have so much free time after that. It was great. Also, I just noticed something, and maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, and it's probably because my brain is kind of delusional right now, but is her tail the same color as her tights? Like, is it exactly the same color? You can see the tail, like, waving kind of, like, in between her legs. You see what I'm talking about? I think so. Okay, so... Food for thought, then. I'm going to ruin... I'm going to ruin... No, it's darker than the tights. I don't know. I think that's just the shadow. Look at, like, the base of the tail. You can see the end of the tail more so. I think the tail itself... I think it's just a shadow on the tail making it darker. Exactly, Viv. I was going to ruin her for everyone. Okay. It's like, so does she have really hairy legs? Or does she wear a, does she wear a stocking on her tail? 
and do with that information what you will. Let that travesty curse your mind as it is, as it is, as it has cursed mine. The reception. I should probably show my face there again at some point, even if it's just to make excuses and leave again. Decision time. I think it's the shadows though, because if you look at her tights, it's kind of the same thing, right? You can kind of see a shift in the colors. I think it's just shadows because it's underneath her back. I'm I'm putting my money. It's on the it's the lighting doing that, not the actual. It's not the color actually shifting. It's just a lighting effect. I think they are actually the same color. And look, Lion Light, do whatever you have to do to rationalize, so you don't have to believe that she has really hairy legs, or wears a stocking on her tail. But deep down, you know, you know. I had a project to do in high school, and I left it to the last days, and I got it so. Well, I mean, some people work better under pressure. I think it's silly, but that's just me. Is this a tough decision? Oh, I just find it exhausting thinking through all the different ramifications of different oh places God. and so on. Oh God, she is me. That's more area than me. So, unless it's something really important, I usually just leave the decision making to him. Other than that last part, she's literally me. What's wrong with hairy legs? Oh, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with hairy legs. I'm just saying, then some real hairy legs, if that's the case. I guess they're not hairy legs, and I guess they're furry legs. Oh god, I somehow made it worse. Also, yeah, no, she's literally me. I, I, saw, I overthink everything. Okay, let me go continue my Fontaine Act 5. Hopefully I can catch the stream after that. Alright, good luck, Kakarot. You gotta go out there. You need a palate cleanser after I've cursed you with knowledge. They keep you warm during the winter. Of course. It's like me and my long hair, right? I always tell people during the winter I save a fortune on hats. Because I don't, I don't have to buy a winter hat. I got it built in. But for once, he's not here when you need him. Bet that doesn't happen often. You got Feminade to make me a little something for just this situation. I like that pose. Look at that. Look at that custom pose. Thumbs up. Spring exists, you have made it worse. Excellent. What about Summer Viv? Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Oh, a platometer. What the... the hell's that? It looks pretty over the top, I know. But it's essentially just a box of cards. He kept the design simple, so it'd be harder to break. I'm gonna break it. The way it works is, I pick a card at random, then look at the number on the card. And how does that help you make a decision? For example, if the number on the card is five or higher, I help Bonnie find her owner. If it's less than five, I go back to the reception. Refreshingly simple and straightforward. I just have to believe in the bond between me and my cards. Oh my god, she has to believe in the heart of the cards? To me in numerical form. At least, that's what Winnie said. Anyway... I guess I'll give you a demonstration. So, she she has to believe in the heart of the cards. I don't believe it. I don't need a shawl because of long hair. I mean, it works, right? Or stay inside with your fans and try not to melt away. That's it. So, do... Don't try to... Uh, hor uh, horrendous grinding like thing. Was I using it wrong? Hmm... Just... When that smacks the card box and the cards fall into the ground, oh dear. See, I was joking. I was joking. We immediately broke it. Maybe this wasn't a design issue. Which card did I get? Absolutely. This is absolutely a design. Look. Making your device foolproof and idiot proof. Idiot proofing is a part of design. I'm just saying that. Maybe that's a, uh, maybe that's a hot take, but yes. Four. Less than five. That means no helping well, Bonnie. The cards fell on the ground, though, so I don't think it counts as fate. No, that's cheating. If you want to get the right answer, you have to let fate decide. Also, something Winnie said. So to put hmm. it another way, if picking a card up off the ground is how to not leave it to fate, 
then that means it must be the wrong answer. I think what really Lynette, Linny really meant, sometimes you have to accept the answer you didn't want. Um, or why don't you pick a card? Since I ran into you here, that means uh, our fates are, like, interfering with each other. Okay. Hey, uh, Skatoma, welcome to the stream. How's life treating you today? Ooh, do we leave the Razzle Dazzle to Linny, or do we pick another card? Mm, that's a tough call. Chat, what do we do? The first answer I see in abundance is the one I'll take. I'm not going to do uh, polls. That takes too long. Considering the idiocy, idiocy of some of users is one of the core principles of design. Exactly. You see, I'm not, I'm not completely off my rocker. Linny. All right, first one I saw. Thank you. This one is final, I promise. Here, take the fatometer. If it's five or above, that means fate successfully changed. Anything lower than five is a fail. Are we playing Boulder's Gate or something? Like, am I going to roll a 20-sided dice and apply my bonuses to it? Like, what is happening here? Also, if you have your own thoughts about what I should do, feel free to share it. Now that I've got a good problem solver here to help, I don't need to run every little thing by fate. Yeah. I am fate. Oh, there is a lot of options. How about you do neither? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to take the answer I do. Get the he get me the hell out of here. Let's go home. That'd be my answer. How about neither? Let's just leave. Screw this. No, I'm going to... Let's help Bonnie. Let's do the correct choice. Let's help so Bonnie. we're looking for Bonnie's owner? Yeah. So how do we plan to find Bonnie's owner? I think I'll go to the Steambird and see about putting an ad in the paper. You want to come along? I think Bonnie wants you to come with. Yeah, sure. This is weird. Sure, if it means I get to hang out with you for a bit longer. Oh my goodness, traveler, chill with the Riz. Can we not? Oh my goodness. What would uh, what would every what would the shippers think? Let's not talk about it. I've received the fatometer. Is this like a use item or a key item? Oh, it's. Actually, oh, it's a gadget. Deceptively grandiose looking card box. It's actually quite simple. Number drawn seems to indicate certain direction of fate, or perhaps the success or failure of a certain choice. As long as you believe in your bond with the cards, the number shown will show your fate. Since then you said that, let's just tentatively take his word for with a shaker of salt. Eighteen. Oh my god, it's a 20-sided dice. It's a d20. In the form of a hat. Oh, this is... I, if I if I ever play D&D again, I want a d20 in the form of a hat. I have not hit sub-10 yet. Can it go below 10? Oh wait, no, that was... No, there we go, three. Nine. Schleven. Seventeen, I think. Oh, this is neat. I'm sorry, I'm playing with my new toy. Seven. Well, this is cool. So, for this hangout event, you get a 20-sided dice you can play with. You get to keep this? I hope so. I want to keep it. And then we could... Oh, we could do that for stream and stuff? Could you imagine, instead of doing, like, polls and stuff, we just start flipping the dice and just seeing what happens? Who needs coin flips when we can just whip out the... The fatometer. You do? Oh, that's sick nasty. That sounds awesome. <clears throat> oh my god, I think my voice is starting to come back. Hi, traveler. What can I help you with? Uh, I want to ask you about the latest Tales of Humanity column. Uh, any commissions in there about a missing cat? Hmm. I don't think so. Have you picked up a stray? Yes. Yep. If there's no commission to follow up on, could we post a notice about the missing cat instead? Oh, weird. Her voice, her mouth didn't sync up. Why, of course. What a kind thing to do. I'm, I am pleased by this. Alright, Cat's got to fill out a form. Well, we've registered you as missing. 
You can stay at my place until your owner finds you. Your place? Don't you live at the House of the Hearth? Also, I just wanted to say thanks for keeping us company for so long. Yeah, sure thing, homie. Well, I should probably head back to the drinks reception. Hopefully most of the people have left by now. Mm -hmm. If you've got some time, you should stop by my place tomorrow to see Bunny. There's a nice cup of tea in it for you. Oh shit, someone say tea? I'm in for it. All right. See you then. Uh, wait until the next morning at 7 a.m. Okay. Time to awkwardly stare, stand here, staring at a wall for nearly 24 hours. This is normal. This is what people do. You ever get told that you were, were closed for the night? You're working. I want you to paint a scene for you. You're working at like your local hardware store, and you closed at 10 o'clock at night. And a gentleman comes by and says, are you open? And you're like, no, we've closed for the night. You'll have to come back tomorrow at 6 a.m. at the earliest. And he's like, okay. And then he proceeds to stand there until 6 a.m., unblinking, unmoving. For eight hours. Are you going to complete the whole hangout? Um, probably not the entire thing. We're going to do at least one full run of it and then um, kind of call it play it by ear. We'll do one natural run. And then maybe work on the endings another day. But again, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Because I do want to hop on free-to-play, because there's a few things over there I want to get done as well. So wait, does Lynette have her own house, or is she just still staying at the House of the Heart? I'm confused. I believe this cat belongs to me. Director of the Humane Society. I don't like your name. I already told you, this isn't your cat. Uh, just take a breather, you two. Uh oh. What's oh, going on? You're here. As you can probably see, you'll have to take a rain check on that tea I promised you. At least for now. Uh oh. This is my friend's cat. He's preoccupied with some important business, so I came to retrieve her in his stead. Passive checks. What? Passive checks are special. Types of checks that need to be, need not be actively triggered, but instead will automatically trigger at specific times. If you pass, you will find some hidden information such as irregularities in a person's attitude, or certain, a certain incongruous detail. Oh my God, this is just Baldur's Gate, guys! Did did you know we're playing Baldur's Gate today? Apparently, oh wow, I didn't realize. Apparently, we're just playing Baldur's Gate or D and D. It's it's D and D, but like just for recency bias, because I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 recently. Expression seems a bit unnatural. The way she speaks is loud and authoritative. It's like she's deliberately using her tone of voice to dispel any doubts of her integrity. No, no. It's far more likely this cat to escape from the Humane Society. Oh. I don't know what's determining my insight checks. I wish I had a dice roll to let me know. That's an point. It seems like he could be hiding something. His gaze keeps drifting off to line. He's trying not to draw attention to himself. How about we let Bonnie decide? Bonnie? Uh, that's the name I've given her in the meantime. Yeah, that would have been the first thing I would have asked. What's the cat's name? Animal handling. It's <laughs> D&D. Yo, someone... Yo, straight up, someone was playing Baldur's Gate 3 when this came... when this event was being worked on. I swear to God. There's no doubt in my mind. That's funny. Animal handling. Um, okay. How do we do this? Randomly checks trigger fleetometer. Serve as indicators for destiny. Of course, successful interaction. Press to draw a card. A random number between 1 and 20. If the number displayed is greater or equal to the check difficulty, you'll pass. Oh my god, it is just Baldur's Gate 3. <clears throat> a random check trigger to the fleetometer will often serve as indicators for destiny. Of course. Draw a card. Plenty of the number displays greater than the number. You'll pass it you will fail. Adequate preparation and friendly aid can sometimes affect the results of these checks. Your current check bonuses are added to your randomly drawn card. What? It is Baldur's Gate. Someone was playing Baldur's Gate three and then did a hangout event. This one. Oh no. Oh no, I suck. I didn't think she was so attached to you. I told you before. 
This is my friend's cat. It's normal for her not to trust me. Listen, I'm the director of the Humane Society, okay? We've got so many mm. strays, dogs, cats, you name it. I'm not even the one feeding them most of the time. You can hardly expect the cat to recognize me. How would you know she belongs to you? She just looked somewhat familiar, so I came to check just in case. Why is the humane society? I don't trust this guy. If she turns out to be one of ours, I'll take her back. Simple as that. Even if that's not the case, the humane society could still take her in, if no one else comes to claim her. That is. Yeah, what the hell's the humane society? It doesn't sound very humane to me. Uh, Anything called the humane society probably isn't humane. In rescuing and sheltering stray animals. We've been in business for several decades now. I'm Bernard, the current director. Now the question is. Are you a humane society or are you PETA? That's the question. Humane society? Huh. The name sounds familiar. Curious. I remember hearing good things. You're the one in the Cartier Lyonnais? That was a word. Yes, yes, that's the one. Anyway, um, if it's not too much trouble, could I possibly take a closer look at the cat? No. If it turns out I really am mistaken, I suppose that means the cat belongs to this lady here. She would be the only remaining option after all. It belongs to my friend. This here to keep watch should be fine. I've decided. Uh, this is uh, this is Lynette's cat. Seems a little fishy, just a little bit. Oh nope. Looks like I was mistaken. They do look similar, but there's an ever so slight difference in this one's fur color. Deepest apologies, friends. Well, this is I a scam. They're they're in cahoots. Still have a missing cat to search for. Apologies again for the confusion. <laughs> so, this is your friend's cat? Oh, uh, yes, exactly. Really? Wait a second. You lied earlier, didn't you? Lied? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. We're getting nice try. Nice try, guy. The liar always has a tell. The look in their eyes, their breathing pattern, the way they hold themselves. The things that can give you away are often more numerous than you would think. It's true. Everyone has a tell. What are you talking about? The way I see it, you're completing baseless conjecture with fact. Hey, you want to guys know, uh, you want to know the secret to know if a lawyer's lying? They open their mouth. Normally. That's their tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was rude. I apologize to all the lawyers out there. You guys, I ate. Mostly. Most of y'all, I ate. Yeah, why you lie? Why do they want this cat? If you're a bad guy, I'm sure you'll take off running the first chance you get. If you're a good guy, the most likely explanation is that you're a member of the guards, or some similar organization. And you're basing this off of? Intuition. Nothing more. <laughs> Intuition. Well, I have to hand it to you, Lynette. You're right. Damn, get caught. I'm a member of the guards. The name's Elodie. I'm Elodie. I'm investigating cross-border smuggling case. This cat here... Bonnie, what's her name? Well... Her owner is one of the prime suspects of our investigation. Oh, sh this just took a turn. What the heck is Lynette? Possibly a robot, but also a cat. A couple of days ago, our suspect got wind that we were on his tail and fled. That's most likely how he got separated from the cat. Oh. I just so happened to stumble upon your notice in the Steambird. So, I decided to see if he'd come back for her. But, it looks like I overestimated him. Or underestimate it. Wait, hold on. Yeah, if I was on the run, I don't think I'd come back either. Unless you really liked your cat. The Marichose Phantom, the guards, and the Special Patrol have all launched investigations. If there was even the slightest chance that he would show himself, I had to follow up on the lead. Look, smugglers are allowed to like cats too, okay? They're allowed to have their homies. Don't, uh... Don't talk shit. Still seems fishy. Why did she take so long to reveal that? Probably because, well, my logical explanation is, you know, trying to keep undercover. Makes sense. And also, Lynette being part of House of the Hearth probably doesn't isn't a great look, if I had to wager a guess. Also, <clears throat> oh god, the phlegm. I'm full of phlegm today. 
So what's being smuggled anyway? Is it cats? A new kind of illegal drug. Imitation synth. Oh god, not synth again. We confiscated all the synth on the market, but addiction isn't something that goes away overnight. True. Even without substances on the market, people are still looking for a way to get their next fix. Should probably do something about that. And criminals are all too eager to capitalize on that addiction. That was the impetus for imitation synth. Needless to say, a small scale market opened up very quickly. Hey Squid, what's up man? It's been a while, about five days. It's been a few minutes. In between being sick, missing stream yesterday because of it, and then on top of, you know, your own schedule. It's good to have you back, man. Glad to have you here, dude. Hope you're doing well. After the Hope Ray comes by today, too. I gotta talk to him. Me and him have business. We have business. The perpetrators got smart, though, and shifted their sales overseas before those measures could kick in. That's when the imitation synth smuggling began. Overseas. To, there's only one, like, ocean over over one sea, right? Isn't... So is it... They're, they're, in, they're selling synth in Inazuma? We only recently got Wait, what? The presence of imitation synth overseas. We managed to track down evidence of some early transactions. What we were able to find out, however, hasn't proven that useful given the amount of time that has passed. Curious. The Mars Shose Phantom launched an investigation. Sadly, I can't say for long only for an hour. Well, hopefully it'll be a good hour. A drug like that. That's how we learned about Bonnie's owner. Hmm. I hope you don't mind that the hour will be full of germs. I'm literally made of germs right now. Stay away from me. So who is he exactly? At the Fontaine Research Institute. His name is Pierre. Pierre Lafayette, to be exact. Is the name familiar? Lafayette. Lafayette. Seems a bit unnatural, though. A slight look of dread crossed Lynette's face. Strange. She usually schools her expressions with mechanical precision. The Phantom found him in Poisson. In addition Poisson. to the cat, he also had a pendant with him. How do you feel about the live stream on Friday? I think the new patch looks good. It's got a... The trailer looks sick. I think the new storyline patch is going to be good. And I am generally looking forward to it. I think it's going to be okay. And I, I think they have some they have a lot of room to do some cool stuff with it. As for like the banner lineups, they also look pretty good. So yeah, I think it's I think it's not bad. I'm really looking forward to see what four stars are gonna be dropping on the banners, but we'll have to wait for that still. But overall, I think it looks solid. And it's got some good looking events too, which new big new area, new events. Solid. I like it. I can't wait to hundred percent Fontaine. One of these days. Hey, with the new updates and stuff to, like, the treasure compass, that'll be, uh, make that even easier. Oh, cool pendant. Hey, look, it's, uh, it's that simple. At first, oh, excuse there me. wasn't much cause for suspicion. A search of his house didn't reveal much to go off of either. The Marshes of Phantom very nearly left it at that. She's the smuggler. It was only later that we realized the coat of arms on his pendant belonged to none other than the Lafayette family. One of the most infamous aristocratic families in Fontaine. Infamous and aristocratic is not a good combo. Also returning event with uh, new features. Oh yeah, right, because we also got the new uh, wind trace. Which, I like this new wind trace. I like having a wind condition as the hider, so it's not just you just position yourself in a tree and wait. You actually have to be active in doing stuff, which I think will make for more frantic gameplay. I think it'll be fun. Obviously, this discovery That's gonna be rad. investigation in Pierre. At that point, however, they discovered that he'd already fled. Now the guards and the special patrol are all searching for him. Or what about his family? That's not possible, actually. The Lefebvre family has been gone for a long time. She killed him. Exactly. Many years ago, several important members of the family, including the patriarch, were murdered by an assassin of unknown origin. From that point on, family's power and influence took quite the hit. Yeah, losing, yeah, having your whole family assassinated will generally do that to your bloodline. The family is engaged in Just to thin animals. it right out. As you can imagine, there's no shortage of people waiting in the wings to take their revenge. And with the family severely weakened, they were able to do just that. Mm. Most of the remaining family members succumbed to sickness or hunger. 
Where did my water bottle go? Oh, it's hiding behind. I have a water bottle. It was hiding behind my mic. Pierre is one of those very survivors. He's been hiding away in the Fontaine Research Institute all these years. His true identity unbeknownst to all. Until now, that is. Hmm. It's really okay to just be telling us that. That seems kind of like, you know, heavy shit, man. Well, my fellow guards have told me all about how smart and courageous you both are. And I know you possess a strong sense of justice. How do you know that? There could be a chance that Pierre, or one of his accomplices, might attempt to get close to Bonnie. Now that you've been briefed on the situation, I was hoping you'd help us keep a lookout. Okay, maybe you're not... Okay, that... that, that okay. So the cat is full of drugs. If I take Bonnie back to the guards with me, there's no way Pierre will try and come for her. Not even the most daring of criminals would attempt something like that. So we should keep Bonnie with us. I okay. Admit, all right, that seems more legit. All right, all right, I'm on board. Pierre will come back for her. But if there's even the slightest chance, then it's worth a shot. Sure. Well, I've got seems fun. Leads to follow up on. If Pierre does appear. Please contact me right away. I certainly was not expecting this to turn into like a. Hey, we found a straight. Wow, this is like the most JRPG plot ever. Think about it, guys. You have we, the storyline started off with finding a stray cat, and now we're breaking up a smuggling ring. Just like any good JRPG, you start by fighting your first quest is saving a stray cat, and then your last one you're fighting God. Right? You with me on this one, guys? Also, the new guy in Sino's quest looks like Dia's son. Well, I'm gonna go on a whim and say that he probably isn't. That be would that would be funny though. Also, that might be racist. But do all uh, do all Aramites look the same to you? That's racist. Turns out, cat the cat was God all along. Exactly. Ah. Oh. Stay hydrated, my friends. But the new character does look cool, though. Probably, he gives big four-star energy, though. You don't look so good. It's nothing. I'm fine. Bullshit. It's just... The head of the Lefebvre family. He was the eminent person who kidnapped me all these years ago. I don't know if we knew the name or not, but I thought the name sounded familiar, and I kind of got that vibe. No, no, it's the hair. Of course it is. Alright. I was going to make, uh, going to joke that he's your long-lost brother with my friends. But I forgot to do that. Well, if you remember later, you have a chance. If you remember now, you'll have a chance. You just gotta, you gotta weave it into the conversation somehow. It was at a It'll party. come up. Someone tricked me into boarding the Lefebvre family carriage. Whoever it was, they took me back to their home. But before anything worse could happen, father intervened. So, the assassin was father. Yep. Father was the one who orchestrated the fall of the Lefebvre family. That's what led Lenny and I to join the House of the Heart. But she said she orchestrated it. Makes me wonder, did she, like, organize the hits? Or did she go there personally and just, like, eviscerate all of them? Frankly, I'm fine with either. But the second one certainly is more compelling. Spriggs, would you play AFK Journey on your off days? Man, I do not have that kind of time to play another like never-ending game like that. I'm I'm like I, I have too much. My backlog is massive. I cannot add another game with no ending. Like maybe one day, but it's it's certain it's not on my radar right now. Thought I'd hear the name again. Oh no, you okay? Hey, Bonnie, you want to go assassinate a left a left Iver, whatever his name is? You want to go assassinate him? I, I bet you do. Sorry for myself. I was just thinking about Remy. Oh, okay. He's been acting strange recently. He avoids me for days on end, consumes himself with some secret investigation, and then out of the blue pushes me to do that acting job. Curious. Thinking about it now, it's almost like the one I drew from that deck of cards was part of his plan all along. 
He must have asked Fermine to help him out. In any case, hmm. I know he's hiding something from me. He's really pulled out all the stops this time. I think he knows about it's Pierre. Very possible. Curious. I'm sure he tried to send me away because he was afraid it would bring up some painful memories for me. It wasn't necessary, though. How dark is Fontaine's quest compared to Mondstadt's? Jesus Christ. Mondstadt is literally sunshine and rainbows compared to, like, literally, you know, the murder, the, the multiple serial killers, and, like, literal Sudoku-committing gods storyline of, like, Fontaine. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Literally night and day. Hey, Aiko, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I just get the best way to get to AR-57. I killed the ducks and talked to Angry Timmy. Beautiful. That's a thing of art right there. Even after all these years, he's still as overprotective as ever. You'll have to help me teach him a lesson if we run into him along the way. Along the way? Are we going somewhere? I want to head to the Fontaine is brutal. Let's put it lightly. more information about Pierre. Just let me activate search mode, and then we'll head out. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into Linny along the way. Are you trying to help Linny out with this investigation, or are you trying to prove yourself? Both, perhaps. For the most part, though, I just have the sense that something's not right. Something isn't adding up about Pierre's story. Sometimes Especially you gotta take the bull by the horns. Yeah, let's do it. I thought Inazuma was a term, but now... I see that it was only the peak of the iceberg. Yeah, seriously, which, given what we know about Natland, and it's literally, it's the nation of perpetual war, something tells me that this is only going to get grimmer and darker, and I don't want to think about Shnaznaya. It's literally just Russia, so, you know. Whew. Hold on to your hats. I think they're setting up for something devastating. Okay, I'll write a letter explaining everything to the crew. Once that's done, we can head out. Oh, hell yeah. And yes, Ico, it is Lynette. Go to the new Fontaine Research Institute. We can't go to the old one. We have to go to the new one. And don't get me wrong, Inazuma was something of a turn. It was certainly a lot more serious. But, yeah, they, they really started hitting their stride. Going into... Well, that was fast. Uh, heading into Sumu and beyond. Should really continue playing the story. Can't bring myself to start Sumeru. The map is killing me already. Honestly, the Sumu story is really good. I think you'll like it. I know it has like some weird reputation for it, but honestly, it's just people either being salty or wrong. I think you'll like it. I think it's going to be all right once you're rolling into it. I've been playing Minecraft too recently. Too much recently. Nothing wrong with a little bit of Minecraft. I get the itch for Minecraft every so often, and then you know you make a couple, you make a skull fortress that weaves lava, and then you feel better. Huh. Well, that was fast. Uh... Damn. Hey, uh... What are you guys doing? Lynette, you're, uh, not at rehearsal? Nope. We can drop the act, brother. In fact, I don't think either of us will have a need for acting anytime soon. You should know better than to try and keep something from me. You've never been able to do that, even when we were kids. ruh -roh. It sounds like our builds are the opposite, Spriggs. Oh, probably. Though, I usually start off by just, like, assimilating a village into, like, a city. Build myself a nice little castle. Then Skull Fortress that weeps lava. There's an order of operations, you know? You gotta respect the order. People just salty about certain act in Sumu, but overall it's a good story quest. Yeah, exactly. For some reason, people get really up in arms about the Samsara, and I don't know why. I think the Samsara is, like, the best part of that story. I think it was really well done and really cool, but... I don't know. Not everyone looks at storylines the same way I do, I guess. I get into a very heavy modded pack one to two times a year. Then I forget Minecraft exists. Yeah, I usually go unmodded because there's usually a ton of new stuff by the time I get back to it. So I'm like, I have no idea what anything is. And that's why I tried to distract you with the masked mind show. But I guess you're just too good. Care to introduce us to your new assistant? <clears throat> this is Officer Shovras. Captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. You may have met her already. Ah, uh, yes, the newest member of the Cool Hat Squad. Nice to see you. 
Hi, Chevrus. I should clarify something. What are you doing here? Mr. Linney's here at my invitation, not the other way around. To borrow your expression, Miss Lynette, I suppose that would make him my assistant more than anything. Called Endless Eight when I played it. Wasn't too bad looking back there, though. Hmm. I only use uh, shaders and a map mod. It still feels vanilla. But I have a map in the top right instead. Yeah, it feels... Alright, don't get me wrong, I like the map feature, like the oh, like the vanilla map feature, you're like actually holding the map and it kind of draws as you go. I think that's cool, it feels good, but I, I, the mini map, a mini map would just feel better for me, I think. Hey Nakuni, welcome to the stream, how's life treating you today? We brought on Mr. Linney as a consultant in the past. He was instrumental in helping us crack a case involving a perpetrator who used magic tricks to commit crimes. I was hoping he'd be able to provide some valuable insight this time around as well. So, uh, Lave, Lave Vare case? Uh, so you heard everything then? And then some. That's exactly why Yeah, we have his cat. There's always been questions surrounding the fall of the Lave Vare family. Yeah. And some people even believe the House of the Hearth was involved. I don't think that's what we're exper uh, 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 investigating here, no? Lamar, I've had a pretty lazy day today. I would not be complaining about a lazy day today. That's kind of what I'm having right now. Though I'm, I've been blasted by illness. I was saying earlier in the, to the chat, I was like, I was supposed to go, yesterday was my dad's doctor's appointment for his new boot, so he's walking around sort of again now, and we also had an appointment at the hospital today. My dad looked, took one look at me today, and he's all like, yeah, you're not going to the hospital with me today, you're going back to bed. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I didn't feel good about it, but I'm like, okay, that's probably not a good sign. You can put markers on it too if you ever get lost, so it's good. Oh, that is nice. Whoever was behind it all was extremely cautious. They didn't leave a shred of evidence. This very fact, however, leads me to believe it was indeed the work of that harbinger. So why is this important? I took a look at the entrance and exit records of all the carriages that night. Let's just say it wasn't hard to deduce that there's ill will between you two. Don't worry, mm -hmm. I don't have any evidence to that effect, and I certainly don't plan on going to bat for such a despicable family. Plus, you were victims back then more than anything. Murder. I sought Mr. Linney's help with the smuggling case. Nothing more. So you're, so you're going to be teaming up with the House of the Heart? The way I look at it, it's a collaboration between us as people, not the organizations we represent. Well said. Besides, by working together, we can expose the truth as quickly as possible. You can hardly say that's at odds with the justice my organization strives for. True. Also, I will say your voice has gotten better. It's I can feel it getting a little better time to time, but then it, like and then I start coughing again, and then like the phlegm starts coming up, and I'm like, oh, there it goes. <clears throat> I can feel it in my chest though. Like I can feel my lungs have been like crushed a little bit. Is no good. If you're sick, why are you streaming? You should be in bed getting rest. What are you talking about? I am in bed. See, I got my blankie. I have my blankie and everything, Nakuni. I'm in bed. You can't take that away from me. Nice for your dad to look out for me, though. I've been helping him out a lot, like, going to all his appointments and stuff, so I think it was kind of his way of, like, sort of paying it back a little bit. You know, like, being like, hey, you know, appreciate you being there for me and all that. Because I, I was sick yesterday, too. Like, I went out with him yesterday. And I was, I was still keeling over. Hey, Akuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Welcome to the stream, man. How's it going? Long time no see. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel better streaming right now, though. It feels better than just lying in bed sulking, you know? You need sleep. I've, I've been sleeping. I actually tried sleeping from, like, I woke up at 6 a.m. originally to go to that appointment, and then my dad checked on me, and he was like, no. And then I was like... Okay, well, I'll just go back to sleep. And then I tried to sleep for, like, probably an hour. Like, about two hours I tried to sleep. I could not get back to sleep. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to have a quick bite. I'm going to go downstairs, toast up a bagel for breakfast so I can have some food on me, have my medication, and then just relax for a little bit. And then I decided that, like, you know what? I'm going to stream today. Streaming makes me feel better, honestly. I feel better streaming than doing most other things. So you know what? I just appreciate you guys, you know? Thank you guys for being here. You guys make my day better. Straight up. I'm going to the squad. The very beginning, Miss Lynette. It's just that my assistant here raised some objections. Hmm. Uh. Uh oh, Linny, you've been outed. Linny, I'm not the same person <clears throat> I was back then. 
That little girl who did nothing but cower in the corner in fear, she doesn't need saving anymore. Yeah, little sisters don't say little forever, dum dum. You make my day better too. Well, thank you. Appreciate you too, as I'm sure a lot of other viewers. I appreciate you guys, really. The stream makes you feel better, I won't stop. You get better soon though, or else. Of course! Like, after I'm done streaming today, like, I'm gonna have a bite to eat for lunch, I'm gonna take it easy, I might, I might do a little bit of work today. Like, I'm not gonna go overboard, like, I'll just do a little bit. Anything I can do from bed, basically. And then, um, I'm, I'm just gonna take it slow today. I got a new Vigi game to play that I can play from bed pretty comfortably, so, you know. Yeah, it's alright. Also, dang, get good, GG, new name for it. Oh. Hey, what's up, uh, Makima the Ninth? What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Dang, TY, I guess. Oh, of course. What's up, man? How's life treating you today? I'm sorry, Lynette. You're right. I let my concerns get the better of me. We're getting oh, that deep Lynette day lore today. Me, you should try a different approach. Like a cat. Who's this? You pick up a stray while I was gone? Yep, you've been replaced. Uh, it's a bit complicated. I'll explain later. Anyway, her name's Bonnie. I just joined because I saw the title. Oh, you saw the title like, oh shit, this guy's sick. I gotta look at him. Let me just get... You see, you see like, oh shoot, this guy's streaming while he's sick. Oh, I gotta see this. Oh shit, yeah, he's so sick, dog. Man, look at him. He sounds congested. What a maniac. <laughs> I appreciate you copping by, man. I appreciate it, dude. Hope you're having a good one, dude. Hope you're feeling better than I am. <laughs> well, if there are no objections, you gotta see him suffer. I, I like it. The only thing left to say is, Lynette, traveler, welcome to the team. <laughs> gotta watch that man suffer. I respect it. I respect it. it appears the I appreciate the company, though, so I don't mind. In their use of insignias and emblems. The this is so JRPG. We found a cat. We're gonna solve a smuggling case because. Welcome to the, the fact, welcome to anime. The insignia that was discovered on the pendant was used to represent an illegitimate child. Dang, what are you doing, Genji? Uh, we are doing Lynette's hangout event. I put the little thing in there. there that today we're going to hang out. It's because I wanted to try out uh, Lynette's hangout, new hangout event to see what was going on. Because I heard this one was very different compared to many of the other ones, so I was kind of curious to see what it was like. So it would mean... Here is a bastard child. Oh my goodness, what the hell is up with Genshin lately having the, the, the harsher language? I mean, technically bastard's not a swear. Technically, it just means that you're someone born out of wedlock? Not wedlock, that's not the right word. Your parents aren't married. Like, I'm a bastard, technically. It's highly likely. That very status might have been what allowed him to emerge from the fall of his family relatively unscathed. It would also explain why he was able to assume a new identity as a researcher with relative ease. Ooh. Since when did Linny have a hangout quest? You mean Lynette? Uh, well, Linny has a story quest, and Lynette got a hangout quest this patch? Like, the patch that came out, uh, back in March? We discovered something interesting, though. After talking to some of his co-workers, it appears he pretty much works at the Institute in name only. He's practically been cast out. Oh. Born out of wedlock is the right term. Ah. You should use pillows. It'd be better. Oh, I mean, I have my blanket. Oh, no, I rolled over my blanket. I don't have a pillow. I got a very... I have my new comfy chair. I got, like, a nice new comfy office chair, and I got myself a blanket. So I'm I'm cozy. I'm comfy. I got, a, I got a pillow right here if I need it. Look, as far as sicknesses go... Your back's gonna hurt. This actually, that's the funny thing. This new chair has actually got a really nice backrest to it. You can't see it because it's actually kind of small. But it is actually quite comfortable. Yeah, it's a new office chair. It's it's a bit on the small side. It's smaller than I expected. But it is comfortable though. I am I do like it. It's also purple, which I do like as well. I knew about Lynette's hangout quest. You said you were doing... Oh, I said Linny, didn't I? I apologize. I meant Lynette. Linny's just here. No, this chair's alright, though. Look, as far as, also, as far as the sickness goes, as long as this doesn't turn into that chest infection I had last year, which many of you who are uh, newer to the stream wouldn't know about this, 
I thought I had, it was so bad. The pain was so bad, and like I had coughed so much. I thought I had cracked a rib. It turns out my lungs were just swollen and rubbing against my ribs, which sounds infinitely worse, but it wasn't actually. Spricks, you're one subscriber away from 700. I know, right? It's hype. We're almost at 700, which means we're almost at 1,000. That 1,000 goal is getting closer and closer. Also, wait, what happened? Apparently, Pierre was once I subscribed. Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I do very much appreciate every, all the subscriptions and just kind words and just hanging out and stuff. I appreciate y'all, man. Seriously. I remember. I remember. You remember? Yeah, you were there, Squid. Where I couldn't bend over, someone made me laugh in the chat, and I keeled over because it's just like, oh god, my ribs. He claimed it was just for research purposes, but the institute revoked his access to the relevant materials regardless. He was placed on disciplinary leave, oh. pending a thorough investigation of his actions. That's not good. But it seems the Institute ran into some trouble along the way. Could have been a lack of personnel mm. or a timing issue. In any case, they had to table their formal investigation into Pierre. Curious. Unfortunately, that also included reporting any relevant information to the higher authorities. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that would put me up to 700. I can check officially and see if it's up. And you should try out Honkai Star Rail one stream as well. I actually play Honkai Star Rail, funny enough. Um, the, I've actually streamed it a couple of times. The only... Yeah, there it is, 700. Damn. Well, thank you very much for the 700 sub. You are... I, I'd say you want a t-shirt or something, but I don't I don't have t-shirts. Hold on, I lost my chat. It is definitely 700. That's awesome. Thank you. It isn't updating, no, the subscribers, though. Yeah, it's uh, it updated on my end. I, it says 700 for me, so yeah, you are the 700 subscriber. Thank you. Uh, that's that's hype. I wish I could get more, I wish I could muster more energy right now and be like, get excited, but like, <laughs> I'm hurt. <coughs> Damn it, I missed my mute button. I tried to hit the mute button before that happened. I will remember you, Makima the Ninth. Though I may butcher the name, and I apologize. That's hype. TCG stream when? Uh, we've done that. We've done TCG streams a couple times now. But no, I've streamed Honkai Star Rail a couple times. I've uh, started the Penacony storyline. Like, I'm a decent chunk into it. The only problem is is that whenever I stream it, no one watches. Everyone leaves. Dia cosplay when? Uh, 50,000 subs. As for his family background... Because that's never happening, right? Workers at the institute were aware of that information. Mm. All they could tell us was that he was quite the recluse. Hmm, I'm gonna take our investigation elsewhere then. Uh. Other than the pendant, we didn't find so there's nothing else to know that his residence in Poisson. Fishing stream part two when? Um, it was gonna be when Fiorina got like confirmed for a rerun. That was when I was actually gonna do another fishing stream to finish the weapon for her. But since I'm kind of leaning on doing um, a wolf fang on her for extra damage, I think I'm not going to go for it right away. I might just do it earlier or later. I'm not really sure now. But yeah. Hey, Ray, welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? You should do account reviews for Honkai Star Rail accounts. If I knew enough about Honkai Star Rail, like, I'm like a Star Trailblazer rank. I'm near max. Whatever the cap is, I'm like four or five off. I don't remember now, but I'm not well versed enough in the game to be able to give advice in the same way I can with Genshin. Because I do Genshin account reviews sometimes. Star Rail ones, I don't think I'm well. I don't think I'm comfortable enough to be able to say definitively this is what you should do. Here's how you make this better. Because I actually don't know that well. Hey, Brickin, what's up, man? And Huta, what's up? It appears the substance leaves behind strong traces wherever it's produced or stored. 67, 70s the mess. I think it was 66 or 67, something like that. I'd have to double check. Those traces might not be obvious to the casual observer, but they're not something our guard poodles would miss. Getting chores done. Awesome. Good luck with your chores, my dude. I'm gonna add this to my achievements. Hmm. I'm out on vacation, having a great time. Oh, that's awesome, Ray. Where are you at right now? You you still in um? Where are you visiting? You somewhere abroad? You don't have to go into specifics, obviously, because you know. No, don't, no need to dox yourself. We didn't find any records indicating possible involvement in overseas transactions either. So, Amara Shosei Phantom didn't view him as a major suspect at first. Hey, look at the squirrel. 
A squirrel has taken over this scene. I've decided the squirrel is the main character now. I repeat, keep stra a talking stream when? Keep talking and nobody explodes? Uh, it's a little outside my wheelhouse, but like, if I found the right person to do it with, it could make for a good collab thing. Hmm. Maybe he had a separate, dedicated area where he made the imitation synth. Well, hmm. his neighbors did say he was often gone for long stretches of time. You would think with him out and about so much, people would have spotted him around Poisson. Poisson. The residents said they barely ever saw him in town. Curious. Also, why go out when you can have a Honkai Star Rail and Honkai Impact 3rd? Yeah, who has time to go out and touch grass, am I right? Oh, it's Linny. Yeah, it's Linny and Lynette. It's a twofer. Also, he isn't going to be able to do keep talking because he's... Yeah, I can't exactly keep talking right now. <laughs> I don't think they meant right now, though. That's funny. I guess it would make sense for him to have a secret base to carry out his business. I really was not expecting this fun, casual hangout event with Lynette to turn into a drug smuggling bust operation. Man, Genshin is wild sometimes. After he disappeared, the guards conducted a thorough search of Poisson. They didn't come across any suspicious locations. Yeah, I'm going to a few places. Nepal, Malaysia, and probably Japan. Oh my god, that's hype. That's massive, dude. That sounds awesome. That's a lot of that's a lot of travel, man. Well, hey, I, ho I hope you have a fabulous time, man. I guess that means we'll probably have to put that other thing we've been talking about on hold then. For a while then, until you're back. If we're going to have time, even. But uh, I am down to do that still, if there's time. Just so you know. Just, just I wanted to talk to you about that while I had the chance. I touched grass in Genshin today. Surely it counts. Surely. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Poisson. Poisson. What is you it, Lynette? You know Lynette? Hotel de Boer, where I first found Bonnie? Yeah. To get there from Poisson, you have to cross a stretch of ocean. It's not somewhere a cat could just wander off on its own. Oh, huh, you make a good and valid... You make a strong and valid point. A cat? You mean... Yeah, this is uh, his cat. Bonnie is Pierre's cat. Oh, that's right! When the Mara Shose Phantom first tracked him down, I remember there being something about a cat in their report. So this is her? Yep. Tuma Grad. Dang, that's so rich. I want to do it absolutely. I only have 10 days or no newbie or Kazua for another year. I'd be broken. Touch grass in real life. I've done that. I did that yesterday. Does that count? Isn't it less than 7 days, Ray? It is uh, 8 days, I believe. I believe we're going... I think it's... No, it is seven. I think it is seven, actually. Hold up. Genshin, Grass, and Honkai Stellar Grass. Yeah, totally counts. By the way, I hit pre-register for Wuthering Waves. Yeah, cool. I was thinking about doing that, but I think the PC version runs out of uh, the Epic Game Store, which I'm not thrilled about. So, not sure about that. Oh, yeah, you're an Asia account, too, Ray. You live in the future, so it's even sooner for you, no? From what we've learned about Pierre's habits, he doesn't seem like the type to venture out without a purpose. So what you're saying, Lynette, is that Bonnie couldn't have gone missing in Poisson. If that's true, then... So that means he was at the... Se the Bonnie was at the secret base! Exactly. Obviously. Bonnie might even know where it is. I remember touching grass last Sunday. Last Sunday or the Sunday that just passed? Because it's like, oh, that's two days ago. That's not so bad. Or that's nine days ago. That's much worse. <laughs> no newbie for me. Oh, no. I'm sorry, dude. I'll talk to you uh, at some point this week. Maybe we can figure out something. Maybe. I might be willing to take a risk. I'll have to just see what's, uh, how things are looking for me. I don't know if you realized, but I changed again. Yeah, you're back to being Nagito. Wait, you think the cat can lead us there? But she's not trained like one of our guard poodles. Guard poodle. How is she supposed to understand what we want her to do? Guard poodle. I'm sorry. There's something about that that just tickles me. I don't have newbie either or any five stars. No five stars? Are you newer to Genshin? Or do you just not play Genshin? That's like the, that's the plot twist. You're just like, oh, I don't actually play Genshin. <laughs> like, oh, that'll do it. No, 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 don't risk. 
It's okay, Ray. We can sulk together. Oh. Well, at least in both their cases, I sense that they're going to get reruns frequently. I think it'll be less than a year for both of them. And I got a silly profile picture from when my boyfriend and me played VR chat yesterday. Oh, that's cute. I can't see the pictures very well because my chat's super small. But still, hey, Anne's welcome to the stream. How's it going? Stop flexing. Oh, I just got newbie signature weapon. It's significantly increased in damage. Ooh, congrats, man. That's awesome. Now, nah, keep flexing. Gotta keep flexing. Flex those muscles. Uh, when that could give it a try. Oh God, we're gonna do. Let's do a. Let's do a Baldur's Gate roll. We gotta do Baldur's Gate rolls. We gotta beat a twelve. This is obviously it. Oh God, I suck at this. I failed every one of these. Startled, Bonnie rushes to hide behind Lynette. Ugh. I guess she's a little skittish around strangers. I'll leave it to yeah. you then. Meow, meow. Meow. She speaks cat. Massive muscles, exactly. I'm going to cancel vacation for this, man. If I have to, I don't care, man. You don't cancel your vacation. It's a good vacation. you gotta, you got to take those opportunities when you can. Two new artifacts that is coming. One with Bond of Life. Will it work with the Fontaine Weapon and Nuvi? Uh, theoretically, yeah. Anything that says Bond of Life that synergizes with it should work with it. So, yeah, I'd say so. On paper, it makes sense. Well, gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Apparently, I, I didn't believe hard enough. Kaveh's hangout was really great. I haven't done that one yet. Yeah, I mean, I was in a relationship up until recently. That was, uh, you know, these things happen. Dang, four star and Genshin two of hangouts. I think it's only four stars get the hangouts. They've never been a five star hangout. Five stars get story quests. Four stars get hangouts. Fair trade. Bonnie seems to understand what you want her to do. Beneath I can't read that fast us, game. Beach beneath the cliffs. Uh huh. The place we're looking for is most likely north of the Court of Fontaine. No, uh, the, ever since I pointed out that coloration similarity, uh, similarity between her legs and her uh, her tail, my brain is completely rotted. Well, I've certainly never taken a witness statement like this before. I've been in so many relationships I can't even count how many exes I have. But the recent one is healthy. I'm glad to hear that, you know? A healthy relationship is good. I've, I've not had very many myself, but... Well, most of the... In most cases, the healthy ones have eluded me. That's a different matter, though, isn't it? That's a depressing matter. Let's not worry about that. Are we all forgetting about Bennett? You can never forget about Bennett. <laughs> well, if it works out, maybe it's something worth getting used to. I never thought about a breakup until it happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, I get that, man. I feel ya. Bennett equals Ting Yoon. Um, you know what? Sort of? I don't think Bennett is as good as... I, I don't think Ting Yoon is as good as Bennett is within their respective games. I think Bennett in Genshin is better than Ting Yoon in Star Rail. And maybe that's a hot take, but I feel like Bennett just has more places he fits where... Ting Yun is often outclassed by specific characters for specific roles, I guess. My girlfriend has been with me for over eight years. That's nice. That's awesome. Also, Spricks, what happened between you and Gim, considering you were in a relationship until recently? Um, we had a bit of a nasty breakup. We tried to maintain being friends, but things just haven't really worked out that way. And I'm not going to air out dirty laundry, especially when she's not here to say anything about it, right? That's That's not fair, so... I'll just leave it at that, like, we just weren't, ended up being compatible in the right ways. And it unfortunately didn't work out. Gotta go date with the gym. Have a great rest of the stream, Spriggs, and bye chat. Take care, Viv. Thank you for hanging out today. I appreciate you. And uh, have a good time at the gym. Gotta get, uh, get swole. Get shredded. It'll be great. It kind of broke me up for a while, but I had a really great friend behind me. It's good when you have those good the, the good support system to help you through it. Bennett is falling off, I think. Eh, Bennett still holds up. Gotta move on, buddy. Don't worry. You could sulk with us, yeah. Bennett is a five-star, and I'll always be a five-star. Yeah, I agree. Bennett's, uh... Bennett's kind of crazy. 
Cats and humans are I think he can be he can be replaced now, but comes to communication. Still. Most of what we want to convey can be accomplished through body language alone. Mm -hmm. But humans tend to rely too much on speech to ever take advantage of that fact. Okay, fair enough. Body language has its limitations. You're not going to be able to get across anything too complicated. Yeah. The important thing is that we now have a lead. Our lead Let's is a cat. find a place that matches the clues Bonnie gave us. All right, we have to go Norte. How much information is it going to give me? Oh, it's just going to tell me where it is. Convenient. Also, I'm sorry, I stole your Nervalet on his banner. I got C1. Damn. C1 on Nervalet. Any constellation on Nervalet is sort of excessive, isn't it? Give me back. Yeah, Nagito's got that good luck. Seems like Bonnie is trying to take us somewhere. All the kitty. Genshin made the best DPS game an HP scaler. Otherwise, he would have had broken game balance because Bennett. Actually, okay, this might be, again, maybe a hot take. But I actually think the fact that he's an HP scaler is part of what makes him so good. I think the fact that he, like, the Bennett thing is kind of moot. And I have a reason for thinking that. I, I actually have, uh... So, in between just the fact that he is mostly indestructible because he's so tanky. Which is, you know, obviously super good. Like, he can sustain himself. Crap. Like, he, got, he has self-sustain, he does so much damage, and he's so tanky. Yeah, I, th I think the fact that he's HP scaling is what makes him so strong. I think that's part of it. Sounds familiar. I pretty much receive letters daily from people trying to poach her from me. Yeah, both early, not guaranteed. Winning them 50-50s like it's nothing, damn. Yeah, can I borrow some of that luck for uh, next time I'm doing uh, viewer pulls? Pumpkin sweat. I'm quitting Genshin because I pulled Dia. How dare you! You pulled the best character in the game and you're going to squander her like that? You absolute monster. I can't believe you did this, Pumpkin Spice. Just uh, just watch my Dia videos. You'll understand. I love my C1 Yanching. Cope. Yeah. I want a C1 Clara. Unironically. I actually want C1 Clara. I like that C1. I think it's cool. I'll give you that luck for the next pulls because... I'm gonna make you pull on a Wanderer's banner for me. Hmm. Kudu Kudu Yin. I do. Li I like her though. Focus on our search. There's a lot to investigate. Her is one of those characters I like. I wanna use more, but she's so niche in like a weird way. Clara's the meta, indeed. Hey, Midnight Ninja, welcome to the stream. How's life treating you today? I like my D Kave more than Dia. To be fair, Kave is quite good. I like Kave as well. But Dia's bae, and that's just a fact. Yeah, we're doing Lynette's Hangout. See? It's just, that's why Hangout was in quotation marks in the in the uh, title of the stream. See? Huh? Huh? I got you. I got you. Dia sabotaged a sabotaged character and also a fair character, not gonna lie. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you're new here. You're new here. I'm going to show you. Uh, so I am a Dia main. So this is my Dia. My 48k health. C1. Signature weapon. Triple crown Dia. I'm building uh, Fremia's last attack. I almost said 40k. Ooh, that's not bad. What are those stats, brother? Uh, they're good. That's what they are. Uh, this is uh, me farming Dia nonstop since she came out. She's a she's a she's beefy. That is one Jack Dia. Yeah, it is. Yeah, she's a uh, my chat. The chat here can um, uh, vouch for me on this one. I have done multiple thirty-six star runs with Dia as like the main focus. Dia's gotten a lot of love on this account because I, one of my first 
like successful YouTube videos I ever did was about Dia and about like how she's really not that bad. Yeah, once I get C6 Dia, we're going to do another Dia video just showing how like ridiculous she can be, but that's going to take some time. If she shows up on like a Chronicle banner or something, I'm going ham. I think Candace is one of the prettiest designs. She has a pretty design. I agree. Huh. Just kind of leaves his drugs out in the open, huh? That's not good. Aha! Just as we thought. This is where the imitation synth was being made. That's convenient. I hate Dia with a burning passion. I see. Haha. -ha. Hey, actually, um, that new artifact set might be really good for Dia if you're doing a burning build. I think you could do like an actual like legitimate burning setup with her with uh, some pretty good results. I think she's the prettiest design. Um, uh, D uh, Candace. Um, she's up there. I like Candace. I haven't leveled. She's one of the few characters I haven't leveled up on this account yet. Just because I have no like active plans for her. Not yet. Eventually, though. These bottles and jars, they're all imitation synths. Looks like he's got more than just imitation synths stashed around here. Oh. In addition to the raw materials needed to synthesize the substance itself, there's a large quantity of cleaning agents and a few drugs I haven't been able to identify. Okay, wow, this is just taking a turn. Hey, Foxy, welcome to the stream. The fox has spawned, indeed. These cleaning agents are likely used to dispel traces of the substance, like its smell. Mm. The special patrol did some digging into imitation synth. Our records indicate that it's very difficult for ordinary people to detect traces left behind by the stuff. I'm sure mm. that was the case for Pierre as well. It must have taken a considerable oh amount of time and skill to ensure all those traces get I still have away. not done the kitty event. You should get that done, because you only have, like, I think a day or two left, right? If you can do it, honestly, if you're speedrunning it, if you don't want to, like, really engage with it and just, like, rush through it, you can do it in about 20 minutes. I can feel you, my guy. I too like Dr. Ratio, a free character. He is in that respect it, but a little more than Dia. Definitely more than Dia. He gets more love than Dia does, that's for sure. So no Fear Arena in 4.6, so probably 4.7. I would expect 4.7. If not, it just gives us more time to farm, right? So I'm not too upset by that. Same damage per hit as Zhao per plunge. That's terrifying. Good piece, good four star, sorry, four piece pale state flame scent. I feel you, Midnight Ninja. I really do. I still can't get a good pale flame set to save my life. But what are these other drugs for? Hey guys, got to study for exam. All right, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you being here, and thanks again for the subscription, man. Hope to see you again, and good luck with your studying and your exams. Take care, man. Any other events this patch? Unfortunately, just Ley Lime Overflow. Oh yeah, right. There's also a new abyss. Well, new, new-ish. We'll do that another day, though. I don't want to rush into that right now. I'm too unwell for that. The material these bags are made of. It's anyway. quite rare. Anyway, more, more of the whole story I was trying to get at there was um, Dia ain't that bad. Ugh, Abyss. Nah, I love Abyss. My Zhao is a 190 crit damage, by the way. Oh. That's terrifying. The fact that Newbie can just, like, hold one button and just blow everyone else's damage out of the water is ridiculous. Uh, how long till the banners leave? I think we have about a week. Uh, seven days. Yeah, they're similar to your magic pocket. It's the very same, actually. We're maritime flower fiber. Oh. But there's something special about the composition of these bags. This is a very, like, deep and engaging and hangout. They're not only waterproof, but also corrosion and leak resistant. Even the strings look specially designed to keep the bags closed nice and tight. It's for smuggling. I came across some bags made of the same material just now, but they were much smaller and thinner. From the look of them, they seemed far less durable as well. So, kind of like one of those small bags, small sealed bags. Very similar, actually. Normally, it would be easy for a guard poodle to sniff out the imitation synth, but if it was sealed away in a bag Maybe like in a Zuma that, Cube boss, the pyro it one? It would be possible to elude detection for some time. Yeah, pyro cube is an absolute monster. Use Barbara. Straight up. Grab Barbara, and then just start charge attacking it. Totally, she can solo it. That's how I used to deal with it. I used to just use Barbara. 
But what could these big bags be for then? If the goal is to keep the imitation synth hidden and sealed away, these bags seem a bit too conspicuous. Is Adventurine coming out tomorrow? Adventurine? Oh, is on Star Rail? Oh, I have no idea. I'm very out of the loop on Star Rail. Not the pyro one, the other one that has no elements. Yo, yeah, the Abyss Reset. No, I was just mentioning that. Also, oh, the Hydro one? Really? I actually found that one to be a lot more, lot less annoying than the Pyro one, personally. Or does he mean the Perpetual Mechanical Array? He could mean that one. That one's kind of a cube, too. There's a lot of cubes in Inazuma in hindsight, huh? Alright, catch you later, Squid. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate you. One well, that's in the Abyss. Oh. Oh, it is there, the PMA. There's a lot of cubes. All of which have shown up in the Abyss at one point, funny enough. All those cubes in the, from Inazuma, all of them have been in the Abyss. But the one currently in there is Perpetual Mechanical Array. So, yeah, I got you. I feel you, man. I, I do, I got you. I find it to be mixed bag. Sometimes it feels like an absolute menace, other times it doesn't feel that bad. Don't know why. When the Marashose Phantom searched Pierre's house, there was no sign of these barrels, right? He must have moved them, but carrying all the way here would attract too much attention. You're right. That doesn't seem like his way of doing things. How did he get them here, then? Let's examine the barrels. Oh no, I forgot. Yeah, Ray's, uh, Ray's hacking. It's a pain to kill and to kill it fast. Yeah. I think I might have to set Ray back to a normal amount soon. Someone do, Barbara. <laughs> the barrel shows signs of water damage. Dried up water stains can be around the circumference of the barrel. That's a big word. So I'm assuming he just threw him into the ocean and hope for the best. Seems to be a pattern to the location of the water stains. For some reason, they appear to be limited to the lower half of the barrel. The lids don't seem very tight, leaving sizable gaps around the edges. But there doesn't appear to be any traces of water inside the barrel. The lower halves of the barrels appear to have been submerged in water. Hmm. Based on the various ingredients we found, this appears to be where Pierre was cooking up his imitation scent. Oh my god, someone let him cook. Oh my god, it's the plot of Breaking Bad, only we're the cops. It looks like he used a special cleaning agent to get rid of any residual traces of the substance on his person before he left. That's how he was able to get past the guard poodles. So basically, yeah, this whole quest, whoever was writing this quest and putting this, like, hangout together was clearly watching Breaking Bad while playing Baldur's Gate 3. And this is how it happened. This is what happened. Today I did an oopsie. Uh-oh, what'd you do? What'd you do, Foxy? Also, that's why the Marashase fandom didn't find anything suspicious in his home. transferred the imitation synth into small sealed bags and took it somewhere else for the drop-off. <sighs> Excuse me. No. I don't believe our suspect is the kind of person who'd go around carrying incriminating evidence with him. That would potentially create too many eyewitnesses. Indeed. The cleaning agent and the sealed bags might get past the guard poodles. But if a member of the public or even a guard on patrol happened to see him during the drop-off, a quick search would reveal everything. That's still a very risky operation. What if the drop-off happened at sea? The barrels we found were wet around the base, but the top half was dry. As if they'd been standing upright in the water. They were set down river or something. Yeah, like that. Hmm. If you put a barrel in the water, it will normally float on its side. Unless it's heavily loaded. In which case, it'll sink. Yeah, so they, uh bottom they put weights at the bottom of swords so something to slightly so you must have used something to tightly seal big bags full of air yeah turning them into an airtight flotation yes. device with flotation rings around the body of the barrels they'd stay upright in the water and then he could Spricks white or walter Spricks. i accidentally used 160 primos for a standard wish oh that's nothing Also, who would wait an eternity just for one blue? Well, yeah, it's one blue. It's fine. I wouldn't stress too much about 160. It's it's chump change. 
battery better die, so I gotta go be back once I'm back in my room. All right, Ray, appreciate you being here. You better get your uh, get your ass over to the uh, charger though before it's too late. You think you used floating barrels? Hmm. I suppose if he acted at night, and there are very few other boats around, and visibility is low. It's a valid theory. We can't rule it out. But then, wouldn't the barrels be carried off by the waves or the currents? How would the person doing the pickup know where to look? Barrels that could float away and get lost at sea. Sounds difficult to keep in one place, kind of like certain pets. Traveler, can you come take a dip in the sea with me? I have a feeling that somewhere down there, we might find some rope. If a rope can be used to keep a pet from running away, then... Why not a barrel? Mm. Three plus pulls on standard because I was bored. Oh no. I think she's talking about back in the day. This was not this could not have been recent, given her uh, current spending habits. It was after Whitney's banner. Yeah, okay, so quite a while ago now, but Imagine if you had saved those for back when you were still farming for uh uh your boy. Your, uh, Venti. You could have saved yourself so much hassle. I didn't know Venti was coming. You always have to assume Venti is always arriving. You have to always assume that Venti's coming next patch. Oh, I, I passed my perception check. Dolphin dive. God, I love doing the dolphin dive. But yeah, Iko, that's a real tragedy given the timing. Bro, I spent half my uh, primos on standard banner while I was new to the game. Yep, it happens to everyone, really. As expected, we found a few pieces of rope and some anchoring stones underwater. If you attach them to a floating barrel, it would look like this. Curious. With this anchoring system, it would be possible to use floating barrels for the drop off. You would just need to drop them in the water at the agreed upon location. Huh. We also Excuse came me. across the wreckage of a small boat. It must have been left out on the water and capsized due to the force of the wind and waves. Its small size, however, would have made it perfect for staying undetected. Let's hmm. talk this through. Based on the evidence we've collected, Remember, hey guys, remember when this was just hanging out with Lynette with a stray cat? You remember that? That was wild. Leave, and then row back and retrieve them after the transfer was complete. Kind of crazy how most of the people who work here are either getting fired or retiring. That probably does not seem good for business. Why such a constant? Wouldn't it be easier for both parties to meet up at the transfer point on the respective vessels and exchange goods right then and there? It could be that he was trying to avoid meeting up with his associate face to face. As one of the sole survivors of the Lafay Vert family, maybe he was just used to that sort of elusive lifestyle. It seems like Pierre deliberately chose the floating barrel method so that the goods could be dropped off and picked up at separate times. That mm. way, the two parties wouldn't have to meet each other. Curious. Well, if that's the case, they must not Should have a out real? working relationship. Alright, we'll be back soon. Alright, catch you later, Midnight Ninja. My tonight. Not any conclusions just yet. Assumptions can be detrimental to solving a case. It's possible they were just trying to keep a low profile. Two boats sailing to the same location at once could be too conspicuous. The most important thing is that we can mm. now confirm Pierre wasn't acting alone. The floating barrel drop-off system is proof enough of that. Let's say for now that he was only in charge of producing the imitation synth. That would mean there has to be at least one other person involved in the operation. Likely in charge of transporting the goods across the border. Explain why we couldn't find evidence linking him to the overseas operation. Indeed. Since we've determined that the goods were transported this is, by boats... What do you think the other paths are going to be like? Like, holy hell. We can certainly check the various ports for that information. It's possible, however, that Pierre's associate also used a small boat for the transport. And docked along the shore rather than at a large port. If that's the case, it's unlikely there would be any record left behind. I assume you looked at the ports Absolutely. already. Before Pierre disappeared, 
We made sure to investigate all sorts of outward bound vessels. We also had port authorities keep a lookout for anything suspicious. Unfortunately, we were never able to find out how they managed to get the imitation scent across the border. Small boat and a few barrels isn't going to get you very You're far. Right. Whatever vessel was used for the pickup, mm. the person responsible for smuggling the substance out of Fontaine would have had to use a larger vessel for the actual transport. That's the only way they would be able to smuggle on a large enough scale to make a profit. They must have found a way to disguise the imitation synth to clear port inspections. Well, if we can't, even if we can't find travel logs, we can still look for other exactly. clues. Exactly. We can't let any opportunity slip through the cracks. <laughs> Although, given the amount of ports that could be involved, we should probably split up. I'll run home. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's, let's look for more clues. To try and dig up some information. I should also head back and update my platoon on our progress. I'll grab some reinforcements while I'm at it. Lynette, Traveler, why don't you head to Lumidus Harbor and see Lumen what you can find out? I thought it was Lumen Deuce. It's Lumen Deuce. I can, I can read. All right. Come on, Bonnie. You too. Yeah, Bonnie's part of the squad now. Bonnie's the main character of this, and you can't convince me otherwise right now. Oh, that's funny. I was actually on Chevreuse. How, uh, how appropriate. Oh my god, this is quite long. I mean, the hangouts are always kind of like... There's usually, they're usually like decently long the first time you do them, but still, it's like, man. It's very, uh, this is very involved so far. It's not what I saw coming. Oh, Lynette, Traveler. And Bonnie, too. What brings you all here? Oh, well, I guess she is one of the guards. Hmm? Did something happen? We're here to check travel logs. Logs. I can speak. I can speak English. Uh, I see. Thank you for everything you're doing for the people of Fontaine. Yeah, what are you doing I'm here? I'm in charge of guarding the port. You mentioned you were after some travel logs, right? I can go fetch those for you. Hmm. Looks like I got another hard day of work ahead of me. <sighs> are things usually uh, hectic around here? Oh, not usually. It's this incident that happened recently. Before that, everything was normal. All we had to do was confiscate anything suspicious and we could call it a day. Pretty simple stuff. Sure. But things are much more complicated now. We somehow let suspicious cargo pass through the port undetected. Not even our guard poodles were able to sniff it out. Poodles. <laughs> we still don't know how the perpetrator was able to conceal the goods so well. By suspicious cargo, do you mean imitation scent? Yep. Mm -hmm. However, prohibited substances are just one example. We confiscate all sorts of contraband during the course of our inspections. Or at least we're supposed to. So what happens to the goods you confiscate? Eat them. Oh, we keep them in a storage locker. If they turn out to be something particularly dubious, we'll turn them over to the Maison Odelie. Okay. If the goods are only slightly suspicious but could otherwise be harmless, like raw materials that could potentially be used to create contraband, we return them to the ship they were confiscated from instead of letting them pass through the port. Sorry for the wait. Hmm. These are the travel logs for all the recent activity at the port. Gerard. Hello, Gerard. Oh, you brought Gerard with you. Uh, actually, he followed me here himself. Looks like he smells something on me. Hmm? Huh. I wonder why Gerard is reacting to you two so strongly. Could be because he just left a place where imitation synth was made. Whatever Gerard smelled, he probably came from us. Huh? We were so careful not to touch it, but we still ended up with traces on us. Hmm. If it leaves a residue so easily, I just don't understand how the culprit was able to disguise the goods at all. Why don't you have a look at the travel logs first? Yeah. I'll Curious. What if it never left? Here, except for the ones the port authorities ride to and from work. We flipped through the numerous travel logs and noticed several instances of the Humane Society. The name really seems to stand out. Oh. The Humane Society. Their names yeah. are all over the exit logs. The purpose for leaving is always listed as overseas adoption. Ah. The director of the organization explained that, actually. He mm. said a lot of the cat and dog breeds unique to Fontaine are also very popular overseas. 
Curious. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Welcome to the stream. How's life treating you today? Welcome to the sick hangout stream. How's life treating you? The cat fled from Pierre. Looks like can't from the inside is looking for. Can't really be a coincidence. We were calling this from the start, wasn't it? Seems Bernard is also hiding something. He seemed so insistent, but only ran a curious, a cursory check before leaving like that. When he came looking for Bonnie earlier, was he? What if he was wasn't actually there to check if Bonnie was a missing cat? He was looking for drugs. Have you figured it out too, traveler? The way the criminal disguised the goods. Yes. When Bernard asked to take a closer look at Bonnie, he was actually checking whether there was any imitation scent in her stomach. Yep. Saw that coming. That's a real thing. Hiding drugs in, like, animal stomachs to smuggle them. Which I'm really shocked that Genshin would actually bring up a very real thing that happens. That's brutal. Uh, wait, what? I'm vibing with the six slash sleepy uh, hangout stream energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing I'm not vibing with right now is the pain in my chest. Coughing too much, you know how it is. The sealed bags we found at the secret base. They were specially made to be corrosion resistant. So they wouldn't be digested. And there were gaps around the lids of the barrels, and the airbags were used to keep them upright in the water. So the animals would be able to breathe. Those drug shepherds found at the secret base. She most likely didn't recognize them because they're not used on human beings. It's an anesthetic used on pets. The perpetrator must have given it to the animals. I hate it when the chest congestion makes coughing hurt. God, it makes laughing hurt. That's the worst part, when it makes laughing hurt. When it's just like, haha, that's funny, and you're like, ow. Keep floating animals Here. in the barrel. Must have made the animals swallow the sealed bags full of imitation scent at a secret base. Then, he stuffed them into floating barrels and let the rest of her know. The sealed bags combined with an animal's body odor would certainly be enough to mask the scent of imitation scent. Ripping pepperonis, indeed. Also, Jesus Christ, this quest. During our inspections, we would have never thought to inspect the bellies of those animals for anything suspicious. Even if we tried to feel around for something, I'm sure it would be difficult to detect. It's putting it lightly. Exactly. I bet Bernard even transported animals with scent in their stomach alongside ones without. That way. It would be even harder to say with certainty that something was amiss. You think Bonnie could have imitation synth in her stomach? Mm. She's probably not. Probably in the clear. Otherwise, Bernard would have never left without her. I'm guessing he didn't know whether Pierre had already hidden the next batch of imitation synth before he fled. Unless that what? Unless Bernard? Well, no, she would know what he looks like realistically. Just so. imagine. He sees the notice we put in the steamboat. And it turns out that one of the very cats he gave to Pierre for the smuggling operation is out in the open, roaming the streets of Fontaine. If Pierre had already hidden the next batch of imitation synth, then Bonnie would practically be living proof of their crimes. He would have had no choice but to go after her. So, that's why he came to find you and insisted on taking a closer look at the cat. Pierre must have left in a hurry. That fact is probably what spared Bonnie. Oh god. Wait a second, I'm a little lost here. I get the part about hiding the substance in the pets, but those... Uh, what did you call them again? Floating barrels? Oh, why even put the animals in there in the first hey, place? Hey Brick, welcome back, man. How's it going? Also, guess what? What? I missed a package drop-off. Oh no! That's not good. That's really annoying, actually. As I feel like from 4.1 to now, they re released very good characters, or rerun very good characters, uh, for the most part. They, even the ones that are, like, less popular are generally all very good. I hit 210 wishes yesterday. Aw, oh, shit. Are those all being spent on, uh, on the father? If you've got something as convenient as a floating barrel, why not just stuff it with the imitation synth directly? Why not wait to hide the stuff until after the exchange has been made? In order to make sure the animals could swallow the sealed bags, they made them extremely thin. Had they not done that, the animals would have likely bitten or chewed through them. And if the synth leaked out, they'd also need a lot of cleaning agents to get rid of the smell. That step would have required a lot of energy, as well as a certain amount of technical expertise. 
So it was better left to the more experienced Pierre. We've already proven how mm. easy it is to pick up trace amounts of imitation synth. So I'm sure Bernard was taking all the precautions he could to avoid the same fate. Yep. Gerard. Okay. Then let's head to the Humane Society right away and bring that guy to justice. I'll bring a guard to mech to speed up the process. Oh good. Yeah, bring a mech. Beat him up. I have 65 pity, so I'm thinking father and her drippy AF scythe will be mine. I w yeah, it sounds like it. The odds are in your favor, I think. Or wait, should I put 4.0 there because they also reran Yelon Zhongli? Yeah. Yelon Zhongli. Um, Linny is very good. Linny is very strong. Who uh, who ran alongside Linny? Was it Yelon? Who ran with Zhongli then? Hold on. It was Hu Tao, wasn't it? Hu Tao was with one of them, wasn't it? What was it, Tartagles? Hu Tao's KM after. Yeah, Hu Tao was like the next patch, wasn't it? And again, Tartagles, generally pretty good. Yeah. Well, then again, most characters are good. Like, there's not a lot of, like, bad characters. Just bad players, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm kidding. I'm only mostly kidding. Yeah. Elon, Lenny, Jean Lee Child. Yeah, they were they were good runs. It was Elon, Hu Tao, Lenny, Tartaglio. Maybe it was Jean Lee in four point one or four point oh now. I don't remember. It's been a few minutes. All right, let's go siege the uh, Humane Society. What did I say about having a society called the Humane Society, and it's like it's going to be anything but humane, guaranteed. I do believe I called that. Did I call that? Yeah, I called it. Good lord. Congrats on 700 subs. Hey, Afro Mage, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much, man. The headquarters of the yeah, got it during stream. It was exciting. It was pretty hype. Bernard could show up any moment now. Only in 4.0 because Fremenet. A. Fremenet A was 4.1. Fremenet A wasn't in 4.0. I'm pretty sure that was the case. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought for M&A was 4.1 for sure, though. And Zhongli and for M&A ran together. I think. I'd have to double check, but yeah, I think so. The trio was in 4.0. I don't think they were. I think there was a gap between them. I vaguely remember there being a gap. Oh, here are the people from earlier. Wait, you're from the guards? Yes. Uh oh. Combat? After him. We can't let him get away. Ooh, trial Lynette. Hold on. Let's see what their trial Lynette's doing. It's a it's a sack sword. No bless obliged. C three, yeah, it's one of these. It wasn't Elon when he's only a child. I remember. Hold on. You know what? Let's uh, let's do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's do this the the Googles because this is just like our, this is our collective shoddy memories all working together to be wrong together. That feels like what's happening here. We're all wrong. Uh, okay, so Genshin Banner history. All right. Okay, need to find 4.0. Okay, no, 4.0 was... Yeah, it was Yelon, Linny, Tartaglia, Zhongli, and yes, Fremenet was in the end of four, the second half, 4.0. I remember him being in 4.1, because then the next patch was Hu Tao, Nervalat, Venti, and... Oh, wow. And also... Wait, am I reading this wrong? No. Oh, wow. Uh, Nervalet and uh, Risley came out in the same patch. Huh. For once in my life, I agree with Foxy. Damn. Oh, God, I'm clicking, like, everything that's wrong. First patch was Lynette and Lenny. Second patch was Remini. Indeed. Calfee. Green tea. 
All right. Oh my god, look at his little walk cycle. Look at him go. Give it up, Bernard. Yeah, Elon Hutal was uh, 3.4 to 6. Uh, yeah, so Yelon, sorry, Yelon was in 4.0, and then Hutal was 4.1. And then the actual one was, uh, the Yelon Hutal was, yeah, 3.6-ish. I remember that. Lynette is my second favorite character. Really? Do you use her a lot? I didn't think you did use her a lot. Or at all. Oof. Also, why is she your second favorite character? How'd that come about? You've never mentioned her before. Mercy. Have mercy. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything I know. Man, you suck. The Humane Society has done so much good over the years. And yet you have committed such an atrocious deed in its name. Look, I didn't have a choice, okay? My father cared about those blasted animals so much, he didn't bother to take care of his human wife and son at all. While those animals were showered with love, I lived worse than a dog. God damn. I thought Sucrose was your favorite, true. Or at least your second favorite. We all know that uh, uh, Eula's his favorite. No one asked. No. <laughs> Tell me, how did you first... <laughs> oh my god, she hit him with the no one. Yo, who asked? <laughs> who asked, dog? Oh, that guy got wrecked. Poor man, he's... That man is... She just killed that man. Instantly, all of his bones just atomized. Do you have the cow fee? Do you have green tea? I've used her in 4.0, but I don't have a team for her right now, but I still have her level 80 with talents. She's good. I mean, you could use her in any animo slot pretty comfortably. And if you have her C6, you can do even, you can do even more weird stuff with her. After I took over the Humane Society, it gradually became harder and harder to maintain its operations. Until one day, someone suddenly passed me a letter. It said that I could stand to get a large sum of money as long as I helped them to transport some animals abroad. It was only after a few such transports that I finally understood what I was really transporting. But then, Pierre wrote to me. Saying that we were already partners in crime and that I better keep cooperating with him if I didn't want to be reported to the guards. Should have reported yourself, man. You might have been able to actually save yourself some jail time. You're screwed now. Arrows and location devices according to his instructions, and then load the sleeping animals onto a boat. Once I sailed to the location he provided, I would dump everything together into the sea. She's C3. C3 is still good. I think C1 in, is like... C1 is one of the more important ones, isn't it? Because that's the one that gives you the double dash. Like Mario Kart. And a few days after that, I'd come by again in my boat and pick up the animals sleeping in the barrels. Once I had received enough of them, I'd bring them to the harbor to be adopted abroad. That guy, Pierre, he was running the entire show. He set up all the meeting times and found all the foreign adopters. Oh, oh, and he even supplied all of the goods, too. I just did the transport. He was the one who planned out and executed everything else. Where is he now? Look, I don't know, okay? I've never, ever met him in person. We've only ever communicated through letters. And when did he send his final letter to you? J just last night. He said that the Marshal Sea Phantom is now after him, so he's planning to go into hiding for some time. He didn't mention where he's thinking about going, though. B but he did tell me to look out for the guards. What if it's him? What if he's actually the one? C4 does that? Oh, C4 is the double dash. C1 is the one that gives some pull to her skill, isn't it? It's been a few days since Pierre's last appearance. I'd wager that he sent that letter after he found his hiding spot. Where's the letter now? I burned them. It was on his orders. I had to burn every letter after reading them. I wasn't even allowed to share them with the rest of the society employees. Sure sounds like you're trying to use the lack of witnesses or evidence to pin the blame on Pierre. No, no I swear, this time I'm only telling you the truth. Well, we can check the truth of your statements at the Opera House. Uh-oh. I hope you know what'll be coming for you if I were to find any discrepancy between the evidence and the testimony you just gave. I know, I know, I swear, I was just telling the truth. <sighs> My thanks to you both. Hey, Foxy, your second character is an animal girl, so basically, like, the animal boys and Venti. 
Is it an animal boy? I don't think so. I think your I think your math might be a little off there, Iko. Bonnie helped too. Yeah, Bonnie's part of the crew. Key member. It was all thanks to her that Bernard was finally exposed. Indeed. Bonnie and Sarah runs and hide behind you and Lynette. <laughs> and it looks like she's grown quite fond of you two as well. <sighs> then I'll leave you be. She's Pierre. Just let me know if you find any other new leads. Your math is off by a lot. Just a little bit. <sighs> bit unnatural. Man, we're just killing these insight checks, apparently. Yeah, what are the uh, constellations for Lenny anyway? I don't remember all of them. Yeah, so C1 is the one that gives a little bit of pull. C2 is just extra shots off for burst, I think. C4 is the double dash, and then C6 is the infusion. I want to do something with this C6. It's like I, if, Lenny, if Lynette's on that next banner, I might roll a bit on it on this account. But I'm not sure yet, because I am trying to actively save for Furina. And I already have her C6 on the free-to-play account, so I could do it there. I just have less resources to work with, so it's kind of like, hmm. I could do a lot more with it on this account, definitely, but... Because I have access to, like, all the cool weapons and stuff. Like, I could throw, like, Jade Cutter and shit on her. So. Can you imagine Lynette with Jade Cutter just, like, laying down the Unholy Smackdown? It'd be great. Attempt to close the case. What's on your mind, Lynette? Lynette looks sad. Man, her heart's been breaking this entire, like, thing. But Spriggs needs Arlo Chino. Maybe she's with her. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But I don't know if I want Arlo Chino. Sorry, Arlo Chino. See, ever since I found out her name is actually pronounced confirmed Arlo Chino, I don't think I want her anymore. I don't like it. I don't like how the name sounds. Oh, so something on your mind? <sighs> Was that obvious? Yes. Well, even though it didn't feel like Bernard was lying, after talking to him, I'm getting an even stronger sense that something's not quite right. We investigated Agreed. so quickly that perhaps we've missed a thing or two along the way. Let me activate deduction mode. Good old deduction mode. I wish I could do that. Top to see if we can find anything new. Is there still anything unresolved or strange that we should try to consider? About what we found in Poisson, about Bernard's letter. There's an unexplained part in the operations. Okay. No. We've discovered that Bernard is responsible for the trafficking, while Pierre deals with supplying the goods. Is there something else in the scheme that we're missing? I actually don't know. I kind of guessed. Oh boy! We get the brain blast. Hold on, gang. Let's get to work. No voice acting. Damn it. According to Shepard's investigation, Pierre was formally reprimanded for his synth-related uh, research. No longer get materials. Where does he get the materials from? Any past members of the La Fever family would probably have a number of connections outside the Fontaine. They always communicated in writing. All those letters have been burned, so we can only confirm them at anything. We've proven that Bernard and Pierre coordinated their handouts by passing floating barrels in the water. Bernard can be co uh, compensated for his work after completing the shipment. No suspicious record would have left. It funds it as an individual rather than through the Humane Society. Yeah, where's he getting his ingredients from? According to Bernard, Pierre also supplied all of the goods. But if the Marachose Phantom's records are correct, Pierre should have lost all access to the materials required to create the imitation synth. And the Institute has also not reported any theft of their stocks. Yeah, my spreads went from I'm getting her no matter what to now I'm skipping her. Yeah, it's because she might be too good. I think she's too popular. She's too strong. And now I'm kind of like, it's like outside of my wheel sounds. I want to get the next meta character so I can be powerful. I think it might be her. I'm getting a feeling that she might be broken. Just a suspicion. Don't know why. Like, just reading through some of the numbers and stuff, I have a feeling that there's something effy going on. And I'm like, hmm, maybe. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to wait a little bit before I start making judgment calls on her. 
I want to see what she's like about and see what people are saying. But I'm more on the the reason I'm like not wanting her right now is because I know I really want Fiorina for this account, so I can start doing some other off meta things. Like I want to run Fi get Fiorina for Noel and uh, Dia. So you know, I mean I have Zhao's weapon for a reason. I mean Zhao's weapon's gonna be good on her. Uh, I think Homa would be better, but obviously you don't have a Homa lying around. Yeah, yeah just get lucky. Get Arlecchino and free to play. Thought about it. I did think about that. It's just resource-wise, I don't think we have the... We don't have the materials to make it happen, I don't think. We can try, though. It's one of those things we're probably going to give it a take a stab at it and see what happens, but my... I'm not holding my breath on it. How about what we found in Poisson? The Marche Phantom found Bonnie and the Lefebvre pendant at Pierre's residence. That was the beginning point of our investigation. Bonnie has been with Pierre ever since the first being Pierre in the Marche Phantom. Well, you came looking for her, but that shouldn't be all. The pendant is proof that the owner is illegitimate child of the Lafayette family, but this shouldn't be all. According to Bernard, the trafficked animals were taken directly to Pierre's base rather than Poisson. And his infants hunting their innocent scions became targets of revenge, but Pierre just carried the pendant with them as if it was an ordinary piece of jewelry. Okay, we're associating, as opposed to disassociating. The more people hear about how spicy she is to play, I think less people were herald her. Maybe. She's interesting. She's definitely super interesting mechanic-wise, so I don't know. I'm, like, really on the fence about things right now. I do have a lot of extra Primo gems right now due to incidents that have thankfully been, you know, paid off, but I'm not sure. Pierre became the key suspect in the case of a suspicious cat and a suspicious pendant. Why would he leave such an obvious trail for us to follow when he took so much care to not leave any traces of imitation sin for his home? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence about her right now. I'm feeling it out, the situation, see what like people are saying about her. Because if she becomes very niche and unpopular, and, like, maybe even people think she's bad, she is premium for this account, right? But if she's not that, she might be a prime pick for free-to-play. If I can pull off the, the lucky pulls. I know why she's overpowered, because she's the Ford Oh, yeah, if you're, if you're going at lore-wise, then yeah, she should be OP. And also Bernard Bernard's letter. claims to have received a letter last night from Pierre. In the letter, Pierre stated that he had gone into hiding. Is there something wrong with the letter? Yeah, shouldn't he have already been in hiding? The letter didn't mention Pierre's hiding spot, although it makes sense that Pierre didn't want anyone to find him. Bonnie was already on the loose for a few days when we found her yesterday morning. That means she's already broken free when the, before the letter was written. The point of the letter was to tell Bernard to be, get on his guard, but he also warned him about Bonnie. Regardless of whether he sent it anonymously or secretly, he delivered it himself. It's no longer. Yeah, why didn't he tell them about? Imitation synth in her body, then she was a liability that had to be recovered at all costs. I'm telling you, the guy is Bonnie, she... or the, the guy is Bonnie. Sorry, he is Pierre. Then it would have made sense to tell Bernard not to worry. And thinking about it, Bernard only attracted our attention in the first place because he came to look for Bonnie. Could it be that the person who wrote the letter also knew nothing about Bonnie's whereabouts? Or they had a separate goal entirely? The final question hmm. is, why did I sense that something wasn't right after hearing Bernard's testimony? Even more so than before. Fox, you remember, Lenny is the next fourth Fatui after Arlequino. Oh, uh, well, he wouldn't be the fourth. He would just, re he would replace someone. I think everyone would shift down, and then he would go at the top. I think that's how that works. You gotta work your way up, right? You don't just get slotted in. Or maybe you do, I don't know. I don't know their government slash military structure. Okay, both written letters and handoffs are using floating barrels, and nothing can be inter intercepted. The accomplice was never met. Bernard has never met Pierre in person. Pierre's conflicting behavior. Pierre made such a complicated operation plan, yet he also exposed himself so easily to the organization guards. 
Does Pierre have multiple personalities? It also feels like the plan and the expose were done by two separate individuals and Pierre was set up. Associate. There's still a third person. Even Bernard himself never knew that it wasn't Pierre that had been pulling the strings all along. It was someone else. Deductive mode deactivated. <sighs> I think we may be close to the actual answer. Oh, thank God. That deduction mode was hard. My brain's hurting. Uh, then if there's going to be a Fatui, child will not be a Fatui. Yeah, they're just going to remove him. He just gets replaced for some reason. Everyone else leaves the Fatui. And then, they're like, well, Arlequino and the Wanderer are no longer Harbingers. Uh, better replace child. That will have the position of Arlequino, but not the fourth. Okay, maybe. We could go that route. We'll see. I'm getting Don't hungry. Behave. I gotta eat something and soon. Follow me to the interrogation room. Oh, behave. Contemplation. They're about to leave. Is this really okay to let them go? Uh-oh. Adequate preparation and friendly aid can sometimes affect the results. If your current check bonuses will be added to randomly drawn her Oh. Okay, so I have currently... What is that, a 10? I have to get a 10. Oh, no, a 20. And I currently have a plus 20. So I can't lose, right? Yeah, I got a 39. I think I got it. Yeah, um, it's kind of like uh, the dice system from Baldur's Gate 3. AKA, he was, you will have the position of father in House of the Heart. That could happen too. We'll see. We're getting ahead of ourselves. No, we can't let her get away. Hold it right there. Uh, is there something else you need from me? Bernard and Pierre, they're really acting. They weren't really acting alone, were they? I do believe we called this, I called this one too. I was joking. Huh? I see. It all makes sense now. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look. Even our confessed criminal here has no idea what you're saying. Because he has been kept in the dark all along. And I assume it's the same with Pierre. Bernard thought he was communicating with Pierre, and Pierre thought he was taking orders from Bernard. But all this time, neither of them knew that there was a third person all along. <laughs> that never quite added up for me. Get wrecked. Why did Pierre feel compelled to return to his home with Bonnie and Dependent, and make them so easy to find for the Marachose Phantom? Wait, wait, Arlequino killed the other fourth harbinger before her. She said in the live stream she wants Lenny to kill her, and he can be the king in the next harbinger. Again, well, that is... I think that, that... I don't know if that's a literal interpretation or not. Not yet, at least. I feel like there's going to be a lot of twists and turns along the way that we have to assume here. Because I don't think they're going to release a character and then immediately kill them. I don't think. It's not really been the Genshin way. They could. They could go that angle, but I don't see it. I don't see it. The animals Pierre received from the floating barrel should have been taken directly to his base, and considering his precarious situation, the pendant should have been the last thing Pierre would be leaving lying All around. All these things are in stark contrast to his usual meticulous and vigilant behavior. There's only one reasonable explanation. He was following orders, just like Bernard. He probably received the following instructions right before the Phantom came knocking on his door. Bring the cat and the pendant, and our undercover agent will be sure to help you. Unbeknownst to him, however, the third person who wrote that letter to him had long decided to sacrifice uh -oh. him and Bernard to save themselves. I assume there will be Wanderer-level shenanigans. Yeah. I could definitely see... There's going to be shenanigans. 100%. There's an easy ending... And let's hang out, but it ain't spoiling it. Well, some of them have easy endings. We've just taken the most, like, obtuse route, apparently, which I love. They instructed two men to communicate through letters, and barrels specifically, so they can never meet each other. Honestly, the third person probably planned to sell both of them out from the very beginning. What? You can't be serious. There was a third person involved? If you focus only on Bernard's testimony, it's easy to believe that only Bernard and Pierre were working together. The case appeared extremely simple. Bernard did the trafficking, Pierre the imitation synth production, drugging, and stuffing. Ugh, stuffing. 
Uh, with everything accounted for, the third person would then be cleared of all suspicion. Wait. But that doesn't make any sense. If that's the actual truth, then as soon as Pierre is caught, you explain his side of the story and the third person will... Yep, which is why the third person made sure that Pierre would never be found again. Oh, he's dead. Once they had instructed Pierre to expose himself, the third person wrote to Pierre again, suggesting that everything had been taken care of, and he should take Bonnie and safely return to his base. And they made him disappear. Of course, Pierre's disappearance at such a sensitive time immediately made him a prime suspect. Knowing that Bonnie had last been seen with him, all the third person would have to do from that point on would be to leave the Phantom to investigate the Humane Society and get Bernard to confess the truth. Bernard would testify that Pierre was the one who came up with the whole plot, and Pierre would be seen having gone into hiding in anticipation of being Wait. caught. So you're saying that the letter I received yesterday, the one that made me think Pierre was still alive, it was also sent by the third person? Scandalous. Is... is that what happened? I'll get back to headquarters right away and reinvestigate this case from the top. Hold it! Dun, 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 dun. I need the... I need to get the, uh... Oh, the, what do you call it? The, the music, the cornered music from, uh... Ace Attorney. I think it's copywritten, so I don't know if I can do it or not, but... Well, actually, it probably isn't. It's also Nintendo, though. Just picture it. You know what I'm talking about. Not so fast. Sherva said that assumptions can be detrimental to solving a case. Someone among us, however, has been feeding us all kinds of preconceived notions ever since our first meeting. They suggested that Pierre's disappearance was an attempt to escape the judgment of the law. And that Pierre was a scion of the Lefebvre family. Hey, they spelled his name wrong. It's supposed to be Lefebvre, isn't it? They spelled it Lefebvre there. Lefebvre. Vvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvv
With that, you'd have been able to lead the investigation towards the Humane Society. Bonnie was extremely lucky, but you were extremely unlucky. Bonnie had managed to escape before Pierre was able to stuff her full of imitation synth. That part of your plan can no longer be carried The words out. imitation synth are but slowly losing meaning. You, were, you came up with another plan right away. He manipulated the Traveler and I to help you identify Bernard as a key suspect. You knew Lenny was investigating the case with Chevres. You also knew of Lynette's previous encounter with the Lefe Verfin. Oh my Lefe god. It just keeps going. It's intense. With two extra bodies around, the special patrol is sure to soon take note of the strange event of Bernard somehow having a reason to look for Pierre's cat. <laughs> so, what you're saying is, I went to all that trouble just for the chance that you might put forth the suggestion that would lead you down the wrong path. Of course, you did far more than that. Just now at Lumidus Harbor, were you not the person who highlighted the suspicious activities of the society? By showing us the port's travel oh. plans. Oh. You even highlighted the society's activities during your compilation of the logs, so they'd be immediately visible to anyone examining the records. Moreover, the logs contained Man, no... This lady's getting absolutely destroyed. Activities. In other words, your activities. And what are you trying to suggest with that? I am insinuating that you have plenty of opportunities to transfer the raw materials for imitation synth from the harbor to a boat, and then sail over to the meeting place full of floating barrels. Once Bernard had to place the animals in the barrels, you'd open the lids and dump in the raw materials. As long as you did it before Pierre came back from his pickup, there'd be none the wiser. And that's how neither the trafficker nor the manufacturer knew there was a third person who supplied the raw materials and surreptitiously operated between them. First you get in touch with both parties and secured raw materials, and then you instructed Bernard to repair the floating barrels. And the animals. After that, you slipped the raw materials into the barrels next to the animals and re <coughs> requested that Pierre pick up the barrels and bring them back to his base. God and damn! Imitation synth using the raw materials you provided, stuffed the animals, and Ow. placed the animals back into the barrels. Having received the green light from you as Pierre, Bernard then retrieved his animals and shipped them out of Fontaine once he had received enough for a full batch. This is the truth behind your smuggling ring. I can't believe it. I never put two and two together. <laughs> You've sure got an extremely lively imagination. So what do you think she's going to say next? Ever thought about a career in writing crime novels? Ever thought about a career in writing crime novels, huh? Oh, bam, I just hit her with that, uh, the JoJo maneuver. Chat silent now? They do that sometimes. See, people are just, like, vibing and just, like, watching. They're allowed to do that, Foxy. I don't know how to break this to you. I hit her with the, uh, the Joseph Joestar. Maneuver. Wait, Joseph Joestar? Yeah, it was Joseph Joestar, the one that would finish people's sentences. Just get obliterated. Yeah, she's already dead. It's over. Mm -hmm. It appears that it's quite easy to predict what you'll think or say. Then if we apply that to this case, we can also think of a few places to look for incriminating evidence. JoJo's? Joseph Joestar? I love jo Joseph is my favorite Joestar by far, and it's not even close. You know very well that this case will not end until Pierre is found. So you will have him commit suicide out of fear and shame to end the investigation for good. That way, you can also pin the blame for the... Wow, they actually said... Wow, okay. Disease, the theft of no the mercy in this quest. Holy crap. Trails, and even the left of their name on them. After all, dead men tell no tales. But you still wanted to appear as if he had sent that last letter to Bernard. So you have to make sure he cannot be found until after Bernard has confessed to the authorities. To do that, you either will hide his body until you found an appropriate time to set up a fake suicide scene, or you'll dump it someplace where it'll be hard to determine the exact time of death. Submerged in water. Oh my instance. god. It's funny how I wasn't paying attention to the stream, but I'll still manage to catch you mentioning JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I can't help but feel you're a JoJo's fan. You like JoJo's, don't you? <laughs> would ideally allow you to keep the body hidden for you some expected a Dio reference, but it was I, Jojo. Uh, okay, whoa, what is all this? You can also keep in a very cool environment to be handled later. 
set them on fire to make them look like they burned to a crisp underwater to near a Lumen Doyce Harbor. There are only so many options to hide a person's time of death after all. As long as the Phantom investigates each of the possibilities in turn, they'll surely find Pierre's remains. Especially since, as the prime suspect who will now be taken into custody, you will no longer have the time to move him or set up a fake suicide scene to cover up the murder. How absurd. And on what grounds will you order my arrest? And this is where Chevers comes out of nowhere off the top rope. Nonsense will amount to any kind of real argument. After all, I'm Elodie Lefebvre. And I called. I'm so good at this game. I love JoJo's. It's my main interest currently. I enjoy JoJo's. I'm very far behind on it, but like you know what? What I uh, what I have seen and I, I I've enjoyed all of it. One of these days I'll get back into it. But I say that about One Piece as well. So you know, who knows when that'll be. I hereby declare you as a suspect in the case. If you have any objections, you may raise them later during interrogation. Severus, Lenny, you're here too. That's right. We received a message from Lumidus Harbor that you were going to investigate the Humane Society. We didn't expect to run into you at such a critical moment. That's convenient. While at the harbor, we noticed something else extremely interesting. Apparently, you often used all kinds of excuses to swap your ship. I haven't watched JoJo's, but I love the memes. Honestly, that's some of the best quality stuff, man. The memes are good. And if one were to match the times of your ships to the activities of the Humane Society and those of certain foreign ships, they'd find them to be an exact match. Well, shit. That... That's just a coincidence. Yep, just a quinky dink, I swear. Yes, I'm sure you have already thought of a dozen different ways to explain away the suspicious activities. But as far as evidence goes... That should be enough to warrant taking you into custody. So I guess Lynette has a new cat after all Don't this. Worry. If it turns out that the guards are still unable to find any evidence after all this, Lynette and I will do everything in our power to clear your name. <laughs> Although judging by her reaction, I assume no follow-up from us will be needed. Hmm. The Lefebvre's were infamous for using disguise and infiltration to achieve their goals. Who would have thought that the you would have planted someone within the guard? Judging from the timeline, they likely arranged for you to enter the guards before the fall of the clan. But they probably didn't expect you to turn it to your advantage and use your job to save yourself during the purge. Not only that, but you actively participated in the interrogation, arrest, and judgment of the Lefebvre's during their fall, thus clearing yourself of suspicion. You brutally and cruelly abandoned your allies as soon as they outlived their usefulness. Just like a lizard cutting off its own tail in order to live. You've been doing this for years. These are all very good people, clearly. So, so you played me like a fool after all. <laughs> oh. Bernard is suddenly knocked out by a sudden strike. Oh. <laughs> what was? Is he alive? Did you kill him? Someone as foolish as him is worthy to call himself my ally. Oh, here it is, the 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 breakdown. Them, not just Bernard and Pierre, but those Lefebvre's too. They always just saw me as a tool. I lost all my chances of a normal life just because I was born into their lot. Not only that, but because they wanted me to become an undercover agent, they stripped me of my name too. You know, after the whole family got, like, assassinated, weren't you, like, off the hook at that point? Couldn't you have just lived a normal life at that point onward and just, you know, not done all this and get into, like, a drug ring? Didn't you just not have to do that? I had to live in constant fear of them while they were alive. And even once we were gone, I had to continue to bury my heritage in my name. Always worrying that their enemies would come knocking at the door. Well, yeah, just don't... just. Give up the name. Like, you, you were fine. You could have. You didn't have to do all this. Do you know anything about what I've been through over all these years? My life as the last Lefebvre? No, but you. Man, choice is a powerful thing, my friends. She seems a bit unhappy. Oh. There's a hint of drama in the voice that suddenly agitated Elodie. Elodie. It feels like her anger may be part of some kind of bluff. I don't, and neither do I care. 
No one asked you about your past. Yeah, no one asked. Are you for real? Aren't you a Lefe Bear victim too? Elodie, you're the only one still living under the shadow of a name. That's enough. Keep your hands where I can see them and do not resist arrest. If you have more to say, save it for the interrogation room. What a joke. What a joke! <laughs> hey! Oh. Don't come any closer. I expected a gun. Apparently she has an explosive device. Hey Ray, welcome back, dude. What's that? You came back to the point where she she pulled out an explosive device. Know what this is? <laughs> I've secretly planted loads of explosives in the humane society. Just one step closer. I have a question. Only one? I was the bomb. Are you the bomb? Is that what you're saying? Also, you only have one only one question. I'm shocked. Okay, go ahead. Whether they're cats, dogs, or just unlucky human employees. They'll all be blown up into smithereens. It's <laughs> an interesting angle they chose there. Anyway, um Oh my god, this okay, you're just crazy. Surely you bunch of goody two shoes won't let that happen, right? They're doing everything in her, her power not to show her hand because they don't have an actual model for the device. But it's kind of funny. Uh, in the Sonic movies, Keanu is voicing Shadow. And isn't Sonic's favorite movie uh, Speed that stars Keanu? That's very random and out of pace, but out of pocket, but... That's kind of funny. I wonder if they'll make a reference to that. Uh, okay. Uh, try to convince Ellie to surrender. Help Chevrolet intimidate. Stealth launch with, uh... While well, she's distracted. Assist Linny. Uh, okay. How do we do this? We have to roll a dice here. Which one gives us the best? So, I feel like going with the assist is going to get us the best result. So either Intimidate or Deception. She's killing enemies. Get over here, you monster. If one of the options was just take the shot, I'd go with that one. Um, I think Stealth Attack might be too risky. I don't know. Am I Rogue? Intimidate, probably. I'm going to go with Intimidate. Persuasion, try to convince her to surrender. I don't feel like sort of convince is going to work. I'm going to go with Intimidate. And we have plus six because of Chevrus. Hey, we beat it without the bonus. Hell yeah. Do you know what would happen to you if you were to run away now? The entire special patrol would be out hunting for you day and night to the ends of the world. All of Fontaine would know. The spawn of Lefe Ver is still among them. They didn't say the other thing, thankfully. Once word of that gets out, all the factions in Fontaine would be after you. But if you throw away the device now, I'll still count that as turning yourself into the guards. Would you rather go back with me now and wait for a trial? Or wait for your enemies to find you and subject you to the same interrogation techniques that your relatives were once infamous for? No. Why? I feel like any one of them can work, but you get different bonuses depending on which one you go with. Arknights have been dubbing over the operators and recently got a Scottish VA for a character whose codename is Bagpipe. I think that might be racist. That might be racist. Oh! There's resolve begins to waver and she's knocked out from behind. Who went for the sneak? Oh my god, it was Bonnie! So I was right after all. It's easier to deal with the person causing the problem than the problem itself. Man, it made that made it look like. Also, she made an awful noise when she got like knocked out there. Yeah, Chevy. Bomb greater than gun. I mean, depends on the bomb. Could be a shitty bomb. They got Italian ones for the Italian themed characters. I approve. Look, on one hand, Italian themed, yes, but calling your Scottish character bagpipe, I think that's racist. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think that might be a little over the top. <laughs> I like Bagpipe. Spent a long time waiting for her rerun. I'm just saying, I, I I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> oh, God. It's kind of funny, though. 
Glad that you're getting the actual like appropriate ethnicity for the different ethnic characters. I think that's neat. I think that's cool. I like the extra touch. So, what about the device? This is it. Looks like it's just a toy. Oh, she was just bluffing. I guess that's probably why she suddenly flipped and knocked out Bernard. He probably knew that there were no explosives at the society. She also pretended like she had a villainous breakdown, as if she had no choice but to kill to escape well, her life. Given that their she life. never even showed her face to Bernard and Pierre, I had my doubts that she'd have gone to the society in person to plant explosives. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Thank you for your help, everyone. I'll take them back for thorough questioning and find someone better to take over the Humane Society. Good. I might need a few statements from everybody. Would you be able to come with me? Yeah, sure, why not? One of the Russian characters is just Winter. In Russian, other is Truth. Thruth. I like Thruth. Thruth. Uh, Who are you? I am the Thruth. statements are all you need. Can Lenny provide them on my behalf? I still need to go mm. back and explain some things to the crew. I also had an appointment with the traveler before we got Oh yeah, we were going to have tea. I forgot about that. You remember you remember chat when we this all started we were going to have we found a stray cat. We were going to have tea and talk it over and stuff. It was going to be great. And then, you know, started an international and then we, you know, broke up an international smuggling ring. Man, this hangout was wild. They got a VA with an Italian accent and there's an official Italian dub. Heck, said event, they start you in a pizza parlor. If they put pepperoni on the pizza, then it's not real Italian. So I ain't offended. That's funny AF, and yes, you're dealing with the mob. Hmm. You know that uh, there was in uh, there was a, a a mob representation in like the GTA within the last like twenty years. True story. Uh, you mean when you said I could stop by your place? Ah, so you I do remember. remember. Yes, I invited you to come over to our place. Yeah, we're gonna have tea. Once I'm I remember. I remember. I'll make a nice cup of tea and bring Bonnie to wait for you outside of my door. Why'd that cat just meow a Capcom sound? That was crazy. That's not normal at all. Oh, they're just dead. Yeah, they're not breathing, I don't think. Emotional <laughs> The time ago, that was pretty good. That was quite funny. Oh, I guess I can just walk down the road here. It's not that far. Oh, no, it's up there. Oh, boo. Well, that was, uh... This is wild, because, like... If, if we had chosen any different, like, path for this, this could have, like... Like, the, the smuggling ring doesn't even show up, right? Mm. Definitely ain't now. Nah, they dead. Truly the best combo for standby mode. Cute kitty and black tea? I approve. Want some? A cute kitty, please. <laughs> ah, I see she's already starting to snuggle up to you. Are you not interested in any follow-up? Not at all. Oh. Information is indeed very important, but if you were to try to collect every piece of information you come across, your efficiency would actually decrease. True. Plus, if you just think about it, what sounds more fun? Writing a statement or enjoying a tea party? Cute kitty. Great answer. That'd be my pick, too. I don't know why it is. That little animation of her giving the thumbs up I find Have very amusing. into that case... We could have spent the All endings day? Oh, probably not. That's gonna take so long, apparently. This is... You gotta figure, this took, like, almost three hours. For just one ending. And granted, we were stopping to chit-chat quite a bit, but, like, still. That's a long time. The key isn't how long, how long you spend in standby mode. It's the quality that you, uh, that should be able to recharge you more quickly. Very quickly at the moment. So, question though, when did you start to suspect Elodie? Mm, something about her rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, same. The very beginning, but to be more precise, it was 
probably around the time when I saw Bonnie type Three whole hours, give or take, yeah. It was a little less. If we didn't count all the time I took, like, just chit-chatting and stuff, probably closer to two hours, but still two hours, right? That's pretty long. Hangouts take less time than story quests and give more primos, IMO. Well, they give the same primos. Because I think story quests give 60 as well, right? So, I think it's the same, but... I don't know. My spricks in that thing. You mean my blanket? I'm cold. I have a, I'm have sick, Foxy. I'm literally just trying to stay warm because I'm, like, horribly cold. Story is 80 because achievement. Oh, true. So, actually, story pays more. Yeah, so stories pay out more. Uh, I believe you only get 60 from Hangouts, right? Oh, there's also sometimes associated achievements. I still think it's the same. I like Hangouts because of the pretty pictures. Honestly, fair. Back then, Elodie tried to get close to Bonnie. Elodie tried to get close, but Bonnie deliberately dodged her. Yeah, get wrecked. Maybe Bonnie had tried to evade her. I knocked some garbage over, and now I'm sad. Or perhaps Bonnie just instinctively knew that she wasn't a good person. Hey, welcome back, Midnight. Not everyone who likes cats is a good person. But if cats like you, you're probably all right. This is fair. This makes sense, actually. To some extent. Most cases, it's not the fact that you're a good or a bad person if a cat likes you. Cats like quiet people. So if you're, like, slow-moving and, like, soft-spoken, a cat's more likely to warm up to you. Hmm, what to farm? Uh, given the subject matter for today, you can farm Linny stuff. Or maybe you farm for Lynette. I don't know. Maybe you finally build Lynette. The brother and sister together at last. Slow-moving, huh? Well, yeah, so you're not, like, jerking towards them and running after them, you know? Like, kind of, like, you know, slowly approach. Hmm. Fair enough. Humans tend to overthink things, but cats rely on their instincts, and they're pretty sharp. I mean, just look at Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie's super sharp. Have you seen that bow tie? She took a liking to you the moment we met. Look at that spiffing bow tie. That's, now, that's sharp. Cats hate Sonic. Yes. All of that... All of that was literally just to have a nice little tea party with a kitty. It's Tuesday, Sprig, so we could swing by the teapot. Yes, you are right. We should swing by the teapot on both accounts. Because I didn't do it yesterday. But, God. Okay, so there's five endings. So we took... Okay, so this is a really short ending. This is a really ending hints. After successfully persuading Lynette, the situation seems to have changed. I'm assuming this one is based on just taking her back to the party. And this one is probably rolling the dice. And then, is this just like one linear path? Oh no, there is a uh, another path. The casing is broken, the situation seems to have changed. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at these a little later, but, um, one hangout event did, in fact, finish, uh, the commissions for the day, which is really good. We like that. S-tier cat tea party, to be honest. True. I forgot my weeklies yesterday. Oh, no. Not Sanic. Lynette has a Furina build. And my Linnea is doing pretty well. How's your Zhao looking? Is your Zhao finished yet? Yeah, it's also headed to the teapot. Teapot's definitely capped. Not for long. It hasn't been capped for very long, but it's been ca it is capped. It would have been basically if I had picked it up yesterday, it would not have been capped. But since I'm getting it today, it is capped. So that's not uh, that's not too bad. Oh my god. Talk to Tubby. Don't stop playing with the Cloud Retainer statue. Okay, well, it's not too bad. And... We're gonna have to use Transient Resin really soon. Before that refret, before it uh, expires. Could do it today, but... I'll save it. Top six percent. Mm. Uh, how's your 
Farazan. Is your Farazan fully cooked yet? I guess we can also claim our reward from the from this. Uh, ending rewards. All right, so we take our first primo. So it feels good right there. We have quite a few of these left. I'll have to probably sit down and get these all done. I'm not building that thing. Why? Don't you want to have the best Zhao team of all time? I think I'll go for Linny next. Linny's good. I like Linny. Uh, speaking of Linny, uh, we can also go and... Um, we're also going to switch accounts to the free-to-play account. Why do you hate the Farazon, by the way? Kind of random. Genshin. Stop hiding my cursor. There we go. Because she's weird. You're weird. I'm sorry. Oh... Just, uh, you're not building her because you like her. You're building her because you want your Zhao to pop off. I switched from one Dia to a different Dia. Funny how that works out, isn't it? Now, if I remember right, I did that yesterday. I did that yesterday. Yeah, okay. I condensed my resin yesterday, so we have five condensed right now. I don't know, you speak the truth. Because she's weird. I have Venti. Yeah, but you know what would make your Venti better? If you want to do DPS Venti? Fire is on. Look, it's just the it's just the facts of life, man. Uh, well, what can we do for you? It's Tuesday. I guess we can get some more stuff for Razor. It's probably not a bad idea, actually. You know what? Let's do exactly that. Let's get some Razor books cooking. And then we'll probably spend the rest of it on Pale Flame. And some weekly bosses, maybe? Dia to free-to-play Dia. Yeah, my real... I feel so bad going between Dias, because my, my my main Dia is so much better. She's gotten so much more stuff going for her. I'd rather build a physical DPS than her. Damn. Why do you hate her so much? You just say she's weird, but why is that bad? Razor's weird, but you like Razor. Don't you want to hit a million damage with your Zhao? I'm not forcing you to do it. If you don't want to do it and you don't like her, then, like, you know, find something else to do with your time. But, like, I'm just throwing it out there because I'm curious. This is very much a, uh, a curiosity for me, because I'm just like, I want to know. She's like a tryhard. Yeah, so is most of the academia. That's kind of their thing, isn't it? They're trying hard to be, like, the best students. I don't know if I'd say she's a tryhard, though. I think I get what you're trying to say, though. Like it was, in fact, weird. True. But I'm also weird, though, so that's fine. We're all weird, though, right? We play Genshin. We're weird. It's just kind of like... comes with the territory, no? I can hear my... I can hear Casper complaining outside my door. Oh my goodness, something so cute. Uh, I woke up... at one point last night with Kazumi cuddled up next to me. She was literally cuddled into like my uh, the side of my stomach. It was like the sweetest thing ever. I think Zumi knew I was feeling really sick last night and wasn't doing well, so I think she was just trying to keep me company. The only problem was Man, I really wanted to, like, roll over, and I was trying to do it so carefully to not wake her up.
Also, it's a pain to fight the Abyss Cube with Yula. Yeah, they are, uh, he is, uh, pyro resistant, sadly. Or, sorry, not pyro, physical resistant. I'm, I'm looking at using a pyro ability, sorry. Yeah, any mech thing is physical resistance, so it's not good. I don't know where Al Haytham gets... I don't know why people think Harbinger of Dawn is one of his best weapons. Where is your intel coming from on that? I'd like to know. I don't think it's terrible on him on paper, but any character that can exist near a bloom core is never going to be at full health, right? Like, am I crazy? He's on field and initiating bloom cores a lot. Doesn't, like... That doesn't work, right? Am I cra Am I the crazy one, or is like is? Are people doing this and like it's just is that like just some like accepted thing that it just works on him for some reason? Because I don't think it does. It makes no sense to me. Like I put Harbinger of Dawn on Furina. Because she's off-field. So you don't really have to worry about that shit happening with her. I'm using Hyper Bloom with Cookie. The yeah, yeah, Asterix we discussed before. Also skill issue if you get hit. Yeah. Yeah, there's some situations where that you just get screwed, though, because, yeah, you can't necessarily, like... Yeah, sure, in theory, you can dodge everything. But if that's the case, why, why, why does it matter what you're running, then? Why run a healer? Who cares, then? Like, that just kind of implies that you play perfectly anyway. You could use anything you want. It's just a classic moment of, well, who cares, then? Just play Hu Tao. At that point, just play Hu Tao. If you're the best player in the world and you can dodge everything, just play Hu Tao. Straight up. Like, that's the answer. Like, you don't play, need to play anything else. Just play Hu Tao. Play Hu Tao and Healerless Nervalet. Literally, like, there's nothing else worth playing anymore then. Because the only thing that holds Hu Tao back... Oh man, I'm getting beat up. Speaking of which... Speaking of skill issues, am I right? Like, the only thing that holds Hu Tao back is her health management. So it's like, well... Why run anything else? Not a skill issue player. Like, okay, go in this domain and go hitless. This is like the worst domain for like the example of trying to be going hitless because it's just all like, oh, I'm going to dodge everything, and you're like, I guess not. Never mind. <laughs> get back to get back at that. Stamina got sapped again. Hate to see it. Oh well, not like it really matters all that much. Who needs Bennett, right? D Luke solos. Congrats on 700 subs with it. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. something right now. Yeah, screw it. Who needs health, right? We don't need Bennett where we're going. I still need to level up my Shevris on this account. Or, more accurately, level up her talents. Like, I really, really neglected her talents. 
probably make things a lot easier potentially with this team. We can move a lot while doing damage. Like I'm, I'm fine with it. You have success with it though, like Ray. Like that's all that really matters, right? You like it and it works for you. That's all that matters. I just say for my money, I can't, I can't justify on my, for my money, putting Harbinger on on a character that wants to be near Bloom Course. Like it's not something I would recommend for most players. Put it that way. I think recommend. You know what? There's the difference. I'll give you I'll give you a fair analogy here, Ray, and I think you'll agree with this one. Should I have you ever get El Hatham? I might try it. I will never recommend that to someone though. And I don't think it's good to recommend that to people. And the reason is because I don't think any player can do that. I think that recommending something that is very skill intensive, like forcing a Harbinger of Dawn on a main on field DPS, is a horrid suggestion. I think it's something you build up to. It's not where you start. You picking up what I'm putting down? I'm also getting Baiju next patch, so, so hey. Hey, Baiju's good. I'm so close to 100 subscribers, I can smell it. Hey, I believe in you, Foxy. You can do it, dude. You got this, man. Wait, you following what I'm saying, Ray? You, you get me? Do you get me, fam? Coffee man, destiny. I'm the coffee man now. Because I can't stop coughing. Yeah, that's that's all I'm trying to say is that like as a recommendation, not good. As something to do, and it's like as like for like a play pattern, totally fine. Dare I say, even pretty good. Works well, potential. But yeah. Uh, man, these positions on these uh, ley lines suck. How does Sumu look? Does that Sumu have some convenient ley lines today? Ooh, it does. Like, should I crown Benny Burst? Also, I'm torn between building my low-level characters for fun, like Candace and Lynette, or min-maxing my strong ones for the Abyss. Uh, depends on two factors, really. Number one, um, how has your Abyss been going? Are you at that, uh... She accused me of running HOD on El Hatham. Yeah, Harbinger of Dawn. Isn't that like what she's talking about? Running Harbinger of Dawn on El Hatham? El Hatham? I'm pretty sure she didn't mean Heart of Depths. Isn't that what that. Wait. Is that what she meant? Maybe I'm missing something here. Yeah, how's your Abyssco, uh, Midnight? Do you have, like, trouble with it still, or, like, are you nailing 36 stars pretty consistently? Are you are you happy with your current results? 32 star most of the time. I would, I'd like to get that up to at least 33, because then you're at least, you're hitting a reward threshold then, right? So, if you're able to get that last reward, uh, one more reward threshold, I'd, I'd try to push getting your good characters buffed up a little better. I don't know if I'd go... I don't know if Crown Benny's my first drop off point, but that's a good one. Wait, I think I think if you want to get up to that like threshold that you want to be at, whether that's thirty three or thirty six, I'd focus a little bit more on your good characters and see what you can do with them. But I definitely think about, like, how much fun you're having and do you want to experiment more, right? Because you know me, I'm, I'm always for experimenting with new characters. It's kind of my thing, right? But if you want to get, like, further in the abyss, you're, you're probably going to have to buckle down and really, like, focus on a couple of core characters. And ultimately, that just depends on you, right? Yeah, Leon greater than Fumina on El Hatham. Uh, well, for the kind of setup you're doing, wouldn't, like, wouldn't Kokomi just be better than both of them? When's the DPS Benny again? Like, when am I doing a... I've done DPS Bennett before. 
You mean like a video on DPS, Bennett? Or are you talking about something completely different? I'm not sure I follow you right now, Foxy. And I. Oh, IMO. I don't need more healing because Cookie and Yao Yao cover it, so it'll be overkill. Nah. Why stop it to if you're worried about if you're if you have to like maintain a, like a ninety percent of your max health at all times, screw it, man. Run three healers. Why more healers are is more good, right? I mean, it's, it's not like Kokomi is bad hydro application, right? She's pretty good for it. Also, jellyfish. Uh, for this one, I can just do Linny. I should have brought a snack upstairs with me. That would have been smart. Hey, welcome back, Leakin. I'm beat, man. What a day. Oh, shoot. I assume it's a busy work day, right, man? I hope you're, I hope it's been relatively okay. I'm still feeling lousy, obviously. You can probably still hear it. But I've definitely perked up. Streaming has been good for me. I've been enjoying stream today. It's been good. I don't have Kokomi, man. Don't do me like this. You come into my chat and you're all like, you have to do Harbinger of Dawn and I'll hate them. And then you don't have Kokomi. The absolute nerve. <laughs> I'm just joking around with you, by the way, man. Don't worry. I'm, I'm just pulling your leg. Well, mostly. My statement isn't wrong. Like, the, you, you know, Kokomi would actually just be, like, good for that setup. But I'm not being, like, I'm not being serious with you, dude. Don't worry. Oh, God. I hate that. Oh my god, doing a bow character, doing that setup on this fight is so awkward. At least he goes down fast. Uh, I met up with two friends I didn't see for the past seven years. What a blast from the past. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome, man. Glad you had a good time. And ew. Ooh, that's nice, though. We also got the right pieces we need for uh, Razor. That's awesome. Alright, off to a good start, I'd say. I mean, using Kokomi is a big damage loss. Nah, Kokomi is top tier damage, man. Kokomi is like, damage is ridiculous. I seen it, trust me. Yeah, yeah, it was a... Beamst. A beamst. If I built Baiju or Yao Yao for Dendro damage, who hypothetically could deal more? Oh, definitely Yao Yao. Yao Yao and it's like, not even close, I think. If you're doing a meme build between the two, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, yeah. Like, Baiju's got good uh, reaction scaling because of his uh, kit. Yeah, yeah, just has good numbers for some reason. Ooh. Ooh, that was uncomfortable. Just, like, shifted my body and just, like, pinched myself. Alright, I have Calamity Queller... I can put on her. Oh my god. I would put. If I had Homa. Wait, I do have Homa. I'd put Homa on her. I think Homa on her would be funny. But. Um. Calamity Queller. You need good crit stats then to back that up, but it's it's certainly not gonna. Ba it's certainly not a bad weapon. Yeah, you run her with like Calamity Queller, Homa. Um. Raiden Shogun's weapon is really good for her, obviously, as well. And then you run her on the Energy Recharge set. And then you just kind of go with, like, this crazy burst build. Like, on paper, it's it's got a lot of numbers for some reason. Ow. Ah! I almost killed my Linny, who now needs to eat an unhealthy amount of whole chickens. Uh, 
I found a store full of Persona merch. It was a very cool place in Kyoto. Near the train station. Dude, that's sick. That sounds awesome. Probably street name. I've tried Homa for like three times. And I can I make you mad? I got Homa when I didn't even need it. I was going for the newbie weapon. Wow. The absolute nerve of this guy. I can't believe. Yeah, we got no. We got Homa on the main account, which is nice, but. So. Yeah, you throw Calamity Color, you throw the. The Energy Recharge setup. Ooh, speaking of Energy Recharge. That's not bad. And then you just stack, like, attack with, like, as much energy recharge as you can, and you just go ham. I want it for Zhongli. How dare you all have had Homa. I didn't get Homa until recently, so... And it was for the same reason, though, by the way, Midnight. It was so I could get, um... So I could run it with, uh, Zhongli. And it was... I was rolling on the weapon banner. Basically with the goal of, like, I don't really care if I get it or not. If I get it... I put it on Zhongli, and if I don't get it, the other weapon is just as good for someone else I'm working on, so I was like... I'm not, uh, I'm not losing sleep over it. I think that's true for a lot of players of this game. Homa is probably, weirdly, one of the most elusive weapons in this game, and I don't know why. Everyone wants it. Everyone likes it. But a lot of people don't have it, and everyone who doesn't have it usually wants it. It's a very strange uh, phenomenon, isn't it? A strange phenomenon. Alright, figure I'll just get the dailies done. Maybe do sneak in one more boss, maybe? We'll see, though. Rats on 700 subs. Yeah, no, we made another milestone. We're doing good. It's just a matter of um, keeping that momentum going, right? I don't want Homer. Foxy lied as easily as he breathed. Wait a minute. There's pyro slimes here. Actually, you know what? Where is... Not for a minute. Yes. Let's give Razor some limelight. Get that. Get that attack speed. I gotta say, this Razor setup feels pretty good. It might actually work out to some extent. Just gotta play it better. Oh, there's a pyro slime somewhere, isn't there? Just stuck in a corner. Yep, yeah, there it is. Oh! Neat. Yeah, Aiko. I actually think his signature weapon is... His signature weapon is easier to build around. Like, Zhao's signature weapon is easier to build around, but... I think Oma, Homa can give better results overall because Homa just doing Homa things. Aiko doesn't like anything. Yeah, no. Homa is... Homa's just good, because, like, massive amount of crit damage, as well as, like, a generally just very good bonus effect. Couldn't, you know, getting, you know, I ha you get every point of health just becomes more damage, and it's like, you know what, that's just pretty good. Wonder if I have to just spend for Homa next time. I mean, if you really want it, probably, but I wouldn't go jumping the gun on that. I'd literally just be all like, you know, 
see where it comes up, right? Home is better than his signature on him. Yeah, as I was just saying, it's like, his signature is easier to build around because crit rate is easier to work with than crit damage, but it will ultimately get more from Homa. I had to go for... I had to just miss Splitter. Miss Splitter's pretty goddamn good, though, so I get it. Yeah. I guess you could say I was kind of lucky on that front. I didn't have to do that. Just because I had, you know, the never-ending Ayaka banner to contend with. And, uh... There should be another daily on the map. Where is it? Am I blind? Is it on Dragon Spine? Where is it? Uh... Uh... Huh. Hold on. What is going on here? Am I going crazy? That wasn't there. Lee can... What signature weapon does Venti have? It's scientific, I swear. Oh, you mean... Uh, not windblue mode. Oh my god, I forgot the name of the damn thing. Um, uh, I mean his signature weapon. Yeah, elegy to the end. His signature weapon is actually like his best in one of his best in slots, right? Because it literally does like everything he wants. Hey, this NPC here, Glory, did you know that she actually uh, went to Inazuma once? They took away her vision. No, it's Skyward on his trailer. Yeah, but we're talking, when you're talking old characters like Venti and like even, and like Zhongli, even like, man, signature weapons don't make sense. Bad joke. You say bad joke, but I bet you laughed. Stop. I bet you laughed. I bet all y'all laughed. Get uh, I wouldn't get Linny's signature weapon for Venti. That doesn't seem very good. I mean, I'd get Linny's signature weapon for Linny. Wouldn't that make way more sense? An Ico situation? Wouldn't it make way more sense for her, for her to just get, you know, Linny's weapon for Linny? This freaks no. Can't stop me. Maybe the first time I heard it. <laughs> oh, God. Look, you can't argue with the classics, okay? Well, classic as far as Genshin is concerned. Aqua Simulacra on Linny? Uh, it'd probably be fine. As just like a crit stick? Yeah, probably. I mean, Aqua Simulacra is just the bow version of Homa, isn't it? So I'd say it'd probably be pretty good. Venti greater than Lenny. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'll hurry up. I'll hurry up to the end of stream. I am gonna wrap stream up early, though. I am. I'm getting. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go lie down for a while, get some rest. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me, though. You guys really did perk me up today, with how lousy I've been feeling all day. It's it's nice to just kind of chit chat and just hang out, you know. So and I, I had fun doing the uh, the hangout event. So you know, I really I do appreciate you guys. I can't dance right now. Do the best I got. Yeah, I, can't, I don't have the energy for that right now. I'd, uh, I'd probably break. I'd start dancing and just fall out of my chair. This brick's dead. Dot and dance. 
So these picks hope you feel better quickly. You and me both. I'll, I'll hopefully be streaming tomorrow at my usual time. But uh, I'll keep you guys in the know. And hopefully I'll be more normal tomorrow. But I've been sick for like a week and a half now, so hard to say. I, I hope I'm on the up and up. It feels like I am. So, as always, cheers, take care, have a great rest of your day. Thank you again, guys, for hanging out and being awesome. Really do appreciate you guys. Wish I could have gotten a bit more hype for the 700 milestone, but, like, man, I got no energy. So, have a good one, everyone, and see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.